E, let me check. Mm -hmm. I am on the Twitch. Um, I don't even know where to put this arm. Jesus Christ. Okay, yes, we are live. <laughs> okay, how do... Um, uh, so I'm going to watch it on the restream now, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, with the, the chat stuff. Uh, yeah, but we are. Yeah. Yeah. All oh, right, because we're gonna get all the chat in here. So yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. All right. So uh, we don't. We, we can't show the intro. I think today. Um, but I'm 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 guessing people watching know who we are, um, or know what's that. You think. You, you think. think. You think. <laughs> you think. Okay. I don't know. Kate's gonna do the intro then. <laughs> I was gonna um... save herself the trouble. <laughs> but, no. Um, yeah. Hi everyone. We're um, back today in the second stream or episode of of, uh, of of this Total War series. Yeah. Who are these people, uh, Max? Good question. Um, we're back with Eduardo uh, Garcia Molina, who joined us two weeks ago to play Pokemon. Um, today we're uh, not gonna play Pokemon, unfortunately, but we're gonna play Rome Total War. Uh, that great classic almost I think, almost 20 years old i think the, the 2004 i believe um so uh yeah we're, we're moving chronologically last week we did troy this week rome next week rome 2 and then we find uh, we, we finish with uh attila on the 19th um so yeah hi everyone who's joining uh kate is <laughs> saying it's time to commit crimes um which it's i'm hoping you're <laughs> referring to the game but, yeah. of course <laughs> of course yeah for for the fbi agents surely monitoring my calls of course i'm referring to the game <laughs> For legal reasons. Hi, Frank, for legal reasons. <laughs> yeah. My lawyer told me. <laughs> hi, Frank. I, li I like the hi, Frank joke. Mm. Hi, feds. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, yeah, so um, welcome, everyone. Um, welcome back, Eduardo. Um, Eduardo is, uh, in, in, ca in case you don't know, he is a PhD student at the University of Chicago, the, the, the windy city, apparently. Uh, we were just yeah, talking about the weather. That name, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, he is an expert of, well, mostly the Seleucids, but also ancient Rome, um, an expert of Pokemon and an expert of uh, creator of classical based memes, which is something we oh, wow. really like, um, and also a great um, fan of the Total War series. So we thought, who, you know, who better than him to talk about this game? Rome Total War is the game that has informed a lot of the horrible person that I am. Um, <laughs> it was <laughs> it's the very first strategy game that I played and said, yes, this is something I really like. I spent unnumbered hours on this game uh, when it came out on an old, oh my God, was it Windows? Windows what? Which version of Windows? It must have been Vista, right? No, or XP, uh, XP, XP probably, yeah. Windows yeah, XP yeah. on an old desktop machine with Windows yeah. XP. Um, a great, it's a great game. It has a lot of talking points, also a lot of questionable stuff, um, yeah. of which we will talk. Um, but yeah, we are very, very excited. Uh, and then next week we're gonna we're gonna see the not so successful second edition of this game is going to be Rome 2. Um, but while we start, um, Eduardo, why don't you tell us about your relationship with this game? <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's similar to you. This game was formative uh, in many ways. I think this is actually, writing a dissertation, you kind of go into a existential crisis of why am I doing this to myself? Yes. And why am I, what, what, what was the kernel that led <laughs> me. I should have this. listened to grandma and become a lawyer <laughs> or a doctor. But <laughs> oh. um, uh, I, I, I think playing Rome Total War was one of those instances, my first real exposure to the Seleucids. Before that, they get kind of brushed aside. Rome dominates. I mean, the game is called Rome Total War. Mm. And you do replicate a very Roman notion of empire. Uh, we can talk mm -hmm. about the mechanics and how they they do that. I, I well, it's it's somewhere in the publishing ether. I don't know where, but I, I recently finished a uh, a or, or a chapter draft on um, kind of how state power is mm -hmm. portrayed in the game mechanics of Rome Total War. And one of the underlying things was that they replicate a lot of Roman imperialism, even for non-Roman polities. So a lot of the the cycles of things. Uh, get replicated for like 
the Gauls or something like that. Uh, they, they're very Roman Gauls uh, and very mm -hmm. Roman Seleucids. Uh, but yeah, I, I played this game when I was a kid and I was immediately drawn to the Seleucids because they had quite arguably the best roster. I, th I, I, I think no one will I will fight you. I will fight you. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> I, was, I was ready. I was ready who's to the, Who's the best roster then? Oh, I mean, I am, I am a big fan um, of playing as the Greek factions. I thought, I thought you were going to say the Egyptians, and then I was going to no, call immediate no. bullshit. No, oh my god, no, the Egyptians in this game are so lackluster. You mean the no, Tories? No, no, god, no. Oh, dude, with that with the bullshit. No, 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 no. Um, I, I play with the ancestors uh, from Sicily, with like the one Greek city that you find at, at the start of the game, which is Syracuse. Um, but mm -hmm. I, I do like them. I do like them. Um, I also like several of the mods um, for yeah, the CG. game. Mm. Um, I also pulled up um, the uh, some of the the opening um, words from the campaigns because mm. what the game does is every time you start a campaign for for those who have not who have not played please go play it but like for those who have not played um, you choose a um, a faction for the great for the for the for the long campaign and they give you like a um, a cinematic introduction with a voiceover. Um, and the voiceovers for the Romans start with, um, I hate Gauls, um, <laughs> if you play with the Julii. Um, we Bruti are the only true Romans, um, because, oh. you know, and if you play with the Scipii, which questions, um, my family are beloved of the gods. Then you go to the Greeks, and you get, you get a very un-Greek way of posing themselves, the the imperialism that um, Eduardo was quoting, they say, Greeks could rule the war. Um, the war, Alexander did, you're like, wait, what? How, right? How did we? And then yeah. when you get to the other factions, um, so for Eastern factions, and we, we will have to talk about it, they start with, the desert is ours. It is my home. <laughs> <You're> like, wait. <laughs> Like hmm. Eastern wear, hmm. right? Um, the barbarian factions. <laughs> the barbarian factions take an anti-colonial stance and say, uh, "Before my grandfather's grandfather was born, this was our land, right?" And they talk about the, the the rivers, the plants, and everything else. So kind anti-colonial, but also the noble savage. And I hear Tacitus in the background yelling. Um, Egyptians just talk about Pharaoh, and then Carthage starts with, last night the crying of the children kept me awake. Just <laughs> 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 yeah. wow. week, we were like, yes, we're going to sacrifice the children, and they're going to cry. <laughs> right? So, already so many things to talk about. <laughs> already yeah. so, ma so many terrible the, the, things. The Seleucid, yeah, the Seleucid is it, just like, <laughs> take a shot every time they say Alexander. Yeah, <laughs> it, 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 you'll be drunk by the time the campaign starts, and like I get it, but you you you, you can't call it an empire. Alexander, it's not a, Alexander's empire was not an empire. He died like it's administratively, empire. it's not a thing. Uh, and like he Wait. kicked the bucket, and it immediately crumbled into it, it, the man could fight. I will get yeah. Biddle. Let's not. Well, it's a speed well. run of empire. It's not exactly. Empire. Oh, I love this. I love <laughs> this. Wow. It was a speed run of empire. Yeah, that's true. Strong war. He went through the, the apex and the fall like, like that. Uh, that is true. That is true. The, the, he's a man of many feathers. Er, man also, of many I don't. Hands. I don't think many of the Greeks would have loved to talk about him after what he did. <laughs> you know, too many of the <laughs> Greek cities, like Thebes. Yeah. For instance, yeah. your thing yeah, yeah, comes yeah. to mind. Fast food. Um, aside from Pindar's house. <laughs> <Apart> from Pindar's <laughs> okay, okay. The Thebans could have accepted Phryne's offer to restore the walls and put a you know a plate that said Alexander destroyed it and Phryne the prostitute built them again, but they refused, so jokes on them, right? <laughs> In this house we support sex workers. And we especially support <laughs> obscenely rich sex workers who want to rebuild things for the public good. Um <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, honestly, woman. <laughs> um, anyways, so um, so we will have to choose with whom we want to start, which is... <laughs> 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 you Thank you, David. Yes, as every decent house should. Yes, yes, we are. We are always in favor of, you know, rebuilding, rebuilding walls and, and uh, golden statues of ourselves <laughs> naked in the guise of Aphrodite. <laughs> um, I mean, who amongst us? <laughs> um, 
so now we while we were while we were chatting and keeping entertained, we were also trying to run the game. So <laughs> this was a ploy. Here it Here is. Go. Okay. There we go. Uh, oh. All right. So I'm I'm driving this thing. So let me minimize this window. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll be able to see some of you all. But I'll... Mm -hmm. Oh, there you will go. you will hear us in your ears whispering yeah. is the, terrible is the things. Volume, all right. Is everything? Uh, I I can't hear. Sh it's I okay. also can't I never hear, hear the anything. Game. So if someone in on Twitch can could say, uh, but even yeah, if, exactly. if there's no audio, I think it works fine. Yeah, it's okay. still it's, it's the not, music uh, is great. Yeah, there's no audio on the Twitch, music in apparently. the game um, is great. I think that's fine. But it's okay. We can we yeah. can deal with it. We can live with it. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll post a link to the soundtrack and YouTube in the chat <laughs> so you could uh, <laughs> turn that on a low volume or something. Well, we'll, we'll do the voices every time I click a unit. And they go, yes. Oh, please, oh, please, yes. And, uh... Exactly. Exactly. And it's like every time, every time um, someone says something, we will dramatically read it. I think. See, see, see. I'm sure. Uh -huh. uh, so yeah, I did the I did the little cheat because uh, I reinstalled it two days ago, so I didn't have all the factions unlocked. So I did the little editing of the text document, uh, so we have mm -hmm. them all. Uh, and uh, for the Seleucids, powerful selection of phalanxes, heavy cataphract, cavalry, and elephants. You get the best of everything. Why didn't they choose the anchor as their? This is a thing. I don't know why they a uh, Corinthian a uh, silver. I guess they want to go with the silver shields, which is so they want to like go with that posturing. So they just gave him like a silver Corinthian helmet in the first one. In the second one, I think they do do. They have the an anchor, right? Have the anchor yeah. in the second one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, tune in, tune yeah. in a week <laughs> to find <laughs> exactly. out. Yeah, I also I also resent the ankh for the Egyptians because it makes not a lot of mm. sense. Um, yeah, I mean, the, it, it, of all of all the Egyptian symbols that you see in battle, the Ankh is the one that you don't see in battle. Um, any mm. any god would have would have helped there, or you know, an eagle, the Ptolemaic eagle. Thank you. Or maybe just don't Same. call it the Egyptian, the, the Ptolemaic Egypt, or something. Yeah. Like great, it's like mm. no, just the Egyptians. Um, yeah. I I understand the moon for Carthage. I still think that like in Rome too, they they did much better by giving the Tanit symbol. Because yeah. she's the she's the patron goddess of Carthage, um, and then I mean the barbarians just got the the short end of the stick with um, totemic animals because and an axe. Um, <laughs> and the first word for the axeman. Axeman, yeah, exactly, Ooh, exactly. Like Hello, that, Peter. Yeah. Hi, Welcome. Peter. Um, yeah. So, but you know, I know, I know that you, you your heart desires to start with the Seleucids. Um, I am. <laughs> Oh, oh I think I, oh, I think I know why the volume wasn't playing on the thing because I had Zoom. Maybe now the volume is working on the stream, possibly because I had Zoom open because I was checking um, my camera before. But maybe not. But I'll just do this. The chat. Yeah, it's okay. Good. Oh, we're gonna do okay. So, um, Greeks could rule the world. Yes, Alexander yes. Did. It's, uh, <laughs> it's very you're in Athens and you're like Isocrates trying to get these weird Macedonians to to campaign against mm -hmm. the uh, Achaemenids instead of mm -hmm. dominating Greece. Like, this was a big discourse going on uh, before, right before Philip and Alexander Noah's, where you have these very prominent orators going, oh, we should all band together. The Athenian Empire didn't work. The Spartan, whatever the heck that was, the Spartan experiment, let's call it that, uh, <laughs> and then the Theban domination, all those things mm -hmm. didn't work. The Greeks can't rule themselves. Uh, they can't, we need someone, some kind of, force and and they saw philip doing his little rubbing his hands together twirling his machiavellian uh, <laughs> mustache. mustache and and going haha uh, oh here we have a champion a panhellenic right totally greek where, i mean yeah, look yeah, how totally greek, greek we are 100 yeah, yeah, yeah. we, we uh, didn't we buy remember, remember our participation times? in the olympics to be declared greeks right we totally did uh, not pay good call no, they're descendants of heracles that's fine right, uh right. they did totally. something uh yeah forget about all that smack talking that we did uh like two years ago calling them non-greeks and everything no they're greeks it's fine yeah, yeah, no, now they're, they're Greeks and it works. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, and then Alexander did that. Uh, uh, it did what he did uh, uh, very well. He did his uh, thing. Mass enslavement, mass killing, <laughs> everything that goes along with empire that kind of gets put under the rug. Uh, uh, and now, now we're the Seleucids. Uh, 
that's how it happens. It's a... Yeah, and the, the last sentence is, perhaps a new Alexander will take up, take up the sword, bring order where mm. there is chaos, remake the world of men into a better place, which Alexander did not want to do, uh, perhaps. No, and it's it, one of the things, like yeah, it's one of the things that Alexander gets turned later on, especially you see with Plutarch. Uh, he gets turned into like this great learned unifier mm. that in, in one of my chapters in my dissertation starts with Plutarch's thing of Alexander going, ah, encouraging everybody in his realm to don't look at everybody based on what they're wearing. Not Do not judge your fellow countryman by if he's wearing barbarian uh, uh, costumes or the Greek uh, uh, hat and stuff like that. No, everybody join hands together. Uh, so Alexander is kind of, if he even had an imperial project, it gets really quickly turned into, by Greek and Roman authors, into this like greater force of, of unification under the banner of Hellenic culture, whatever that means. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. The, yeah. the great, the great dream of a, of a Greek empire. And it's like, um, um, <laughs> not really. There is also that's true. There's also an expansion yeah. with the Alexander, with mm -hmm. Alexander. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think two years ago there was a remastered version of the game that came out, which contains both of the DLC, like the Alexander yeah. one and the what is it, Barbarians one. Yeah. Yeah. All I know about that one is that you could swim across rivers, which is the thing that they brought out. In the Barbarian Invasions ones, you could have specific light, lightly armed units that could swim across rivers, and that was one of the big things about it. <laughs> the Assyrians were doing that with their with their, their little... Yeah, with their, their little leather Yeah, with their little around. sacks. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. People Barbarians is a rivers. great expansion. Um, it's the one yeah. I had. But, um, so, well, first of all, this map ends... Very, very, like, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's very, a lot of like, the Seleucids, yeah, a lot of the <laughs> empire is like gone. Hmm. Um, it really kind of, uh, it, um, uh, it deflates kind of because it's huge. The Seleucids go to the very borders, uh, with the India and Ikanum, and you have Bactria, all the, but it, it all gets cut off, and you don't even get Babylon. You get Seleuki right. on the Tigris, but which okay, but, sure. But that's that's good enough. You have a, a ziggurat there, which is um, you know, is, yeah. yeah, it's uh, it's is... um, oh, it's the Gardens of Babylon, right, right, yeah. right. You get, so yeah, yeah. So you get so you get um, um, wonders in this game, and if mm -hmm. you control the wonders, you get um, civilization bonuses and like cultural yes. bonuses or or military bonuses. Uh, you have the the Colossus of Rhodes, the Vassalius of Alicarnassus. Which I'm, I'm looking I'm looking at with greedy eyes as I <laughs> as one does. There's like yeah. there's the the Pharos. There is one pyramid, mm. no more, no less. <laughs> one pyramid. <laughs> Only one. Okay, just the, the just the you the, know, the budget. The was great gone pyramid. The great point. pyramid and the Sphinx, which were not the same complex, but you know mm. we digress, right? They're mm. not the same. Like the the great pyramid is. Uh, Khufu and then the Sphinx did not exist at the time. It was, you know, it was made after Khufu was dead and gone uh, with the, with another pyramid. Then we have the status of Zeus. Um, they got laid to the three, per, three, four, one sale some pyramid. Sorry, we, we just got one. It was Black Friday. Whatever yeah. the Egyptian correspondence of Black Friday is, we have then there's the statue. There's a statue of Zeus. And I, I don't think there are any other... Um, Wonders around. Right? Yeah. Oh no, no, they're the mausoleum. Oh yeah, oh, no, yeah. The, the Artemis at Ephesus. The yeah. of Ephesus. That oh, there, was... there's the mausoleum. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That I was very pleased to see. Mm -hmm. um, so although... the, the more or less official ancient uh, wonders of the world. Yeah, you oh, get yeah, the yeah, yeah. yeah. And I think I think in this game you can zoom in into the cities and go and go look, which is something that you cannot do in you. Troy. I forget how to actually do because I've never. I think it's um. And when you capture that, you get a, a cutscene. Exactly. I think you can show. Yes, exactly. View settlement on the battle map. Yeah. 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 Mm. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And when you capture that, you get a cutscene, and you also get all these Roman words of well, Roman and Greek oh, words yeah. of wisdom in the in the loading screen. A game with a lot of fascist potential. A lot. Oh it yeah. Does. Yeah. Right. Looking at this. It is. It is really um, sounding the alarms for I me mean, as an Italian. <laughs> there's a reason you have those um, white marble statue Twitter pr profile. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, but this, this is, is. This is. 
Antioch, right? I'm pretty sure I clicked on Antioch. Yes, it doesn't Antioch. look anything yes. like Antioch. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, I mean, it is. I mean, it is, we last it's a week. City. At, yeah, it's a city. Um, Last week we went to Mycenae in Troy and mm-hmm. uh, Total War, and yeah, it also doesn't look that much like Mycenae. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's like it's yeah, yeah. Return to the campaign map. Uh, the Shrugging Eagles. Mm. They also look like upside. That's true. They look like upside down eagles. So, and we all know the the, the value of putting certain mm-hmm. symbols upside down. Uh, certain people. Anyways, for 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 legal reasons, this is not a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I like how this stream is defined by some like legal tension throughout. We started with legal some, tension, the possible some. FBI raid, and but also, and, um, I, mean, I am I'm sorry. Is that an elephant on the map? So this is one of the things that I'm interested in. I talk about in the like the campaign map is very much the gaze of the player is the gaze of the state. Yeah. Because what do you see? It is cities, it is armies, it is your like immediate diplomats, your immediate little minions. In, in your research. daughters, sometimes. It's, uh, <laughs> but you don't see people. It is like the most, yeah. it is a map just bereft of populations. Um, mm-hmm. It is just from city to city. And again, that has to do with the game mechanics. It's just the way that the game plays, right? It is ta 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 ta, you take cities, strategic points. The people are in the cities. You don't get to really experience any sense of r- rurality. You don't get to see mm-hmm. anything aside from the kind of urban environs. Everything else is just resources for the city, which yeah. is fine because, again, that's the name of the game. But it paints a certain picture of the priorities of ancient states, the priority, the lived experiences of people also. Um, right. Yeah, You're I mean, right. there's this work on, 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 I mean, saying that different genres of games present different modes of historiography, and like yeah. these types of games, like they present like the, you know, the the, the great uh, person type of history, heroic, uh, I mean, uh, yeah. historical conquests, empire, resource management, and there's the games like Assassin's Creed, which, which present a more social or, or, or human uh, element in in. in mm-hmm. Uh, because in this game, people are statistics or their canon yeah. father. I mean, basically. Yeah, basically, yeah. You... Yeah, people are statistics or pawns that you can move around. Um, mm-hmm. Pretty disposable in, in, in the later yeah. game, the early game, not much. And it's true, unless you fight um, in a, a field in a battle in the countryside, then, then you see the farms. That's true. Yeah, that's yeah, true. yeah. That's, yeah. Um, and also people are then kind of gamified into percentages. Like my favorite's population order. I, it just people's moods are just numbers that you can yeah. change. Yeah. And one of the ways to do this is by constructing religious buildings uh, that will give happiness alongside some other things. But note that the Seleucids are portrayed, uh, they're the Hellenic cultural group. They can only construct buildings that are part of that Hellenic cultural group subset, which is very not uh, very much not how they actually governed. Uh, this is a conversation that goes, oof. I, it started actually uh, 1993 with a publication called From Samarkand to Sardis uh, with Amelie uh, Kurt and Susan Sherwin White, uh, where they basically went, what's the identity of the Seleucid Empire? Is it a Macedonian mm. empire? Is it a Greek empire? Or is it an Achaemenid empire? Uh, could we call it like what's the identity behind it? And they argued very strongly for an Achaemen identity, and that's kind of shaped the discourse that's going on right now in Seleucid. So, like, what's the identity? What? And and I think the 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 kind of ground that we're settled in right now and that we're comfortable in, I think it's the right ground. Is that it's complicated? Uh, it is identity, complicated. Uh, yeah, people can switch identities, and so can states, depending on where they're ruling, what media that they're using, how they're posturing themselves to a local population. Exactly. Um, um, yeah. Uh, if, I, if I can add something, because like sure. it, is, it is clear to me and you, I don't know how clear it is, it is to everyone. So the Seleucids are the, so the Seleucid Empire is the part of the empire of, well, of the conquest of Alexander, more or less corresponding to what was the Persian Achaemenid Empire um, beforehand. Um, that, that, gets like is the one that is famous for using elephants or elephants um and they when they um they don't like hellenize in the sense that we would imagine because it's not like they pick up a uniform 
monolith of Persian culture. On mm -hmm. the contrary, Persian culture that had expanded from, you know, what, what is Iran now uh, was very much an empire that was based on, well, conquest for sure, but also like administration in a very smart sense. So they left local cults um, and people could worship their local gods and not, and they were not forced to worship like the, the Achaemenid god for, gods first and then the Greek gods after. And that was actually mm -hmm. one of the strengths of the Persian Empire, um, which the Seleucids absolutely went on and just jumped on it. Like, yeah, that works. Um, so <laughs> yeah, it if is, it ain't broke. Right, but well, <laughs> it broke. You know, if it ain't broke, you know, yeah. you, you're not going to fix it. But it works also because they understood that, you know, local cults are also a way to um, foster social cohesion. So mm -hmm. you keep the cults that make the people happy. So, I mean, I understand why for, for gaming reasons, they made them into the Greek thing. But then again, mm -hmm. Egypt was just as Hellenized. But in Egypt, you can only worship the, the Egyptian gods, which is which is something that we will we'll probably see. I don't know if they, they kept that in, in Rome too. Um, but like- hey, They have some, the, uh, they- differentiated i think there are some that are uh, left over right. yeah right also these like completely disregards like all the syncretic gods that kept like that, that that got like different characteristics from this god from one culture and this god from another culture and put them together um i understand like for from a game pers game perspective you need to oversimplify but from like a, a social historian perspective or archaeology perspective it's kind of it's kind of trap right um, yeah. Also, from the map, we are reminded that um, in all TV or movie depictions of ancient medieval or fantasy cities, um, it's just a city yeah. rising up from a barren landscape, right? Nothing outside the walls, no farms, no surrounding towns, no other defensive works, yeah. no channels. I will add nothing, nothing. It's just poof. They just Looking support. at you, Marvel's yeah, Eternals. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, one thing that I remember from, from this game, um, now that we're talking about, oh, this is the gaze of the, of the ruler, is that once you develop more trade, you can see the trade cards and the ships going around, but mm. only for trade. You don't see mm. people going around their lives and doing that, which is instead something that um, city builders sometimes do, right? Children of the Nile, you can actually follow your citizens in the city, well, mm. your subjects in the city. But in this one, you're like even more removed. Like you are, the, you're not even the ruling class. You are the ruler. <laughs> you are the ruler. Yeah, I mean, these types of games are also uh, are oftentimes called god games because of the perspective <laughs> that you're looking from. Uh, I, I'm not particularly fond of that term because, I mean, you are looking at it from sort of the perspective of a god, but you're not enacting the role of a god because you have to build shrines to other yeah. deities and, and worship yeah. those. I mean, you are a general, um, but it's, I mean, it's also because these games, if I remember correctly, like they, like they have their prehistorical roots in like these war games from the, is it 19th century? Uh, mm -hmm. Like these German Kriegspiel or something, I think it is like, like or like, or as you see, like in Game of Thrones, like you have this mm -hmm. map and you have the, 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 what is it? The, the little models yes. that move yes. around. And, like the little, basically... and the little pawns yeah. that you move around. Yeah, right? like th those are basically the, the forerunners of this. Um, so I, I, I it's, I think it's more useful to look at them from th that perspective rather than as a god or something. Unless, of course, you're ex explicitly playing like a mythological -y type thing. But yeah. it's it's not a, a god per se. Yeah. Um, another very funny thing that these games have is a family tree. So you can keep mm. track, right? It's another thing yeah. that is like very mm -hmm. imperial. So you can keep track of how many children you have, who's marrying whom, you know, who's not making children, who is... You know, mm -hmm. um, I think that you can see it in the faction. I think you uh, think this might be. No, there it is. There you go. Family yeah, tree. There you oh go. my God. The, the, oh, they're the off. Images yeah, they're for the children. They're like, oh, Jesus Christ. Yes. Thank you, Daniela. So in Rome 2, which of which we will talk next week. And next week is going to be romance languages only because Alex is not going to be with us. So it's going to be chaos. <laughs> yeah. um, we will play Rome 2. Wild gesticulation um, so much. A lot, a lot of flailing. Uh, I, need, I need to get better before that. Uh, the Ptolemies have temple only for Greek gods, not even Serapis or not even Isis, which is ridiculous because if there was someone who was worshipped during the Hellenistic period, it was Isis and Serapis um, and, our, and our good boy Hermanubis. So it is questionable. Uh, but in this, even for the children, 
they chose the Roman portraits, like the children with those terrible curses, like Shirley Temple, but like on drugs. Oh, yeah. Um, for the Sorry. for the male children and for the female ones, it's like, hey, it's okay. Yeah, um, you see, but the, the yeah. demon spawn. Of the demon the, spawn. For the male and, line. and all your family members have traits, and some are slightly problematic. Um you can get, you know, you can get the good ones and then you can get the negative ones. Among the ne negative ones, it's like one of the first English words I had to look up because I did not know what that meant is catamite. And I was like, wait, what? Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> don't, don't Google that. Like for legal reasons. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, <laughs> 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 that ship has sailed. Yeah. It's, it's a little, you know, it's, it's, how can we say it's the very imperialistic in the sense that everyone like everyone's duty is to make babies right so you need to conquer and you need to make babies and that's it right and if you don't you're made fun of which is which is something that they kept doing also for medieval too and i mean yes i understand ha 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 you know early 2000 ha 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 this person is not making children because they they like you know other things but jesus christ right mm. what the fuck talk about talk about historical erasure right i mean yeah i mean raging but sexual Alex alexander would not be pleased with this <laughs> um right uh also you know yeah no go for it i mean i see uh, that you're uh, attacking the egyptians yeah, yeah naturally <laughs> so i mean there's six syrian wars uh, i might as well start one uh, I mean, yes. Historically, so, um, there are six Syrian wars. I mean, we should have a couple of histories to go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is one of the things. I mean, the the, the so so two seventy BC. So Lucas has kicked the bucket. Well, he was assassinated by Ptolemy Keraunos, with the older brother of Ptolemy the mm second. -hmm. Uh, he saw Keraunos. Keraunos means lightning bolt. Mm. Yeah, that, I, it also cool means thing. asshole. It is no, well, yeah, I mean, La Vita like Anyways, uh, but, uh, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so now you're playing uh, uh, Seleucus's uh, dear son, Antiochus the um, First. He's a faction leader. He's a good commander. He's got command talent. He's religious, and he's a skilled bureaucrat. All these things, I think, are salient characteristics for him he's an incredibly dynamic figure uh so lucas made him kind of co-king uh of the eastern portion of the empire very smartly uh i think to kind of assure that you know once he eventually eh, then there would be a smooth transition naturally for antiochus the first and it did happen that way there wasn't that much um uh, inner schism to, for at least in the immediate transference of power, you don't have, I mean, better than Alexander in any case. I mean, the empire that, continued the, on for a while. <laughs> the bar is on the floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh -huh. And so, yeah. Uh, and this region right here, Coily, Syria, and Phoenicia, was fought over almost generationally. Uh, and, <laughs> really, yeah, I was thinking, but, like, I, I yeah. can't think of a time where they weren't just bickering over that and Cyprus. <laughs> yes. Uh, um, a, between the Seleucids and the Ptolemies, because Ptolemy kind of did a, Ptolemy the first kind of did a little sneaky sneak uh, and garrisoned that region before Seleucus could kind of get the empire rolling on his end. And he kind of just went in there. Uh, Ptolemy, very sneaky, uh, very smart uh person uh and he came over and garrisoned it uh and then didn't give it back <laughs> afterwards uh I mean, and then that became kind of a thing uh hey you should probably go and do something in coilies here in phoenicia kick the teeth of the ptolemies that's what seleucus would have done uh right so, what what would seleucus do yeah like, come yeah. take it yeah come exactly it, yeah. Take it, take it. <laughs> mm -hmm. um but yeah, it is but it's also like historically accurate to just to just have um people fighting over you know cities that are important for trade and controlling mm. access yeah. to resources um and some of the few very fertile parts of the yeah. whole the whole land like um i mean historically that region has always been contended uh right yes. um it's always been taken one way and then from other sides and everything else um 
I do like that we see, there you go, there's glass. Um, I saw wine, I think, and uh, paint, right? That's- um, uh, Yeah, I'm trying first. to see where the little thing for paint is. I might, I might I have think to it's the a vat. little bit more I think it's the vat with the, or uh, is that yeah. wine? The purple. No, see it next turn. Once yeah, I oh, next turn, that's where we go, we're going to yeah. yeah. But anyway, so the, um, the Seleucids and the Ptolemies were like only two of the many, many factions that were fighting at the time. Uh, and aside from fighting, they also intermarried, which is, <coughs> I mean, as, as we all do, um, you know, with, with our worst enemies. I mean, right? I mean, I have a <laughs> yeah, son. Naturally. Yeah. Naturally, right? Who amongst us? I have a son, you have a daughter, that's just, just me. Yeah. And then they kept fighting. So, um, Especially in the second century when <laughs> the Seleucids... Start to, I, th I, I think it's not crazy to say it starts to get into a decline phase. Uh, you start looking, uh, you start losing mass swaths. I mean, you don't have Asia Minor anymore. The Romans came in, they kicked your teeth in, uh, they made you sign this treaty where uh, basically beyond the Tarsus, all this is no longer yours. You can't even recruit mercenaries, although the mercenaries do show up later, so that might not have been super enforced. Uh, either that or I mean, they might have been mercenary colonies inside of Seleucid territory mm -hmm. uh, also. Um, and then, yeah, these, these, these wonderful, guys, like, our, yeah, our great guys, the, these guys had always the coolest names. The Arsakids, uh, the Parthians. Exactly, uh, exactly, the Parthians. Uh, the Romans tried to claim victory over the, Parth the Parthians several times, but it was never really convincing. Uh, the Parthians was the Parthians were one of the few other um, let's say cultures, but with several pinches of salt, that actually mm. defeated the Romans, destroyed legions, took the eagles, which is something that not many did, um, and they were they were damn proud of that, um, and they also killed one Roman emperor in battle. Well, killed or you know defeated, and then had him submitted. Uh, they poured molten gold into the first tycoon Crassus uh because he was such an asshole that they were like they they, they didn't know him and they were like I hate this guy let's just let's just you know pour some molten gold into his guts um you know uh and they were they, they're like a fascinating and enemy they used but in, in a play you know in the, for the back eye in a singing yes, of the back exactly. eye, yeah. allegedly allegedly allegedly, yes. allegedly they used that uh, the best the best prop master of all times uh using <laughs> a decapitated head to portray well a decapitated head um so you know but that also tells us something about them being hellenized right because they are putting on the stage a greek a yeah. drama a greek tragedy yeah. Um, and their, their, their coins, a lot of them, uh, because they modeled their coinage after the Seleucids because monetization happened slowly and irregularly uh, in a lot of the regions that the Seleucids dominated. Uh, and you see our socket coinage going, hey, we're friends of the Greeks uh, on it, just displaying in Greek. Uh, there's a lot that the Arsakids do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll be the, one of the end chapters in my dissertation. Mm -hmm. gonna be but about. it's true that in this game, they're miserable. Yeah, they get they got the short end of the stick because there's no space. They get like one one or two regions and that's it. There's no other... Technically, there's like, technically, they shouldn't even be like... They shouldn't even be this here. Well organized. Yeah, they, they, in the 240s is when you start actually getting them evolving into... like The, the first king starts springing up and that's when the real wheels start turning for them. Uh, but they give them kind of a, a, an initial start date later on. I want to make friends with them, though, because I really don't yeah. want to fight Horse Archer spam. You should you uh, should get one of their princes. They're very cool. Um, yeah, one, <laughs> one thing that you can do in this game is you can steal generals from other factions uh, by means of bribery or by means of a daughter. Um, problematic as you want, but you can do that. If you if you see a good general from other factions and you have a daughter that is unmarried, you can go and, and ask them. Um, mm. Also, ooh, there's a molten silver story allegedly inflicted on a... I cannot pronounce that <laughs> word, I'm very sorry. I would not try, uh, by the Mongols. I think it's like a great... Tr like, um, yeah, you have daughters here, Daniele. Uh, that's a great trope. It's like, oh, this person is so rich but they're also, you know, useless on the battlefield. So the the punishment for them is going to be to die by their own, you know, by their own real love, which is which is coin. Um, mm -hmm. It's it's a great thing. M maybe a bit of a waste of perfectly good metal. Like I want to believe that people did not do that, mostly because it's very impra impractical, right? Um, 
but uh yeah the good the good times the good things i just, I just very silently committed a war crime <laughs> you were... <laughs> for legal reasons this is uh <laughs> I, I i told you this game informed the horrible person i currently am <laughs> Did you, did just, you kill oh, the whole population? I might have. Uh, it was a lot of money. Uh, this is one of the things also. <laughs> Great explanation. <laughs> yeah, this is one of the things also is that I mean, the game rewards you and you feel gross for for perpetuating this, like, uh, this cyclical thing. The game rewards you. It's one of the things that, you know, like, how do we, you know, convey the realities of, mass slaughter or mass enslavement uh when it's reduced to the press of a button and you don't really see yeah. the the humanity i mean i just press the button you kind of well mm -hmm. you can't hear it in the stream but yeah. you, you they, they, yeah. you're like ah! yeah uh, I mean, like, yeah i mean this game was released 2004 so that this is like yeah very very early stages of game research but so this is mm -hmm. like before the big wave of games induce violence or desensitize uh, our children to perform massacres and stuff like that yeah so it, it is a i mean but then again like warfare today is kind of like that like you push a button and you yeah it's, yeah basically of yeah. your rockets yeah uh, uh good good clear victory but look at those people being unhappy here's the thing the people are unhappy if a general is not there or if an army is not in the city and then they're generally okay yeah 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 which it, is it, it also there might not be a lot of people left. Yeah, I don't. I didn't see the pre me hitting that <laughs> button population. Yikes! Well, they're probably not happy with me. Uh, actually, there is a. I think it's a settlement deed. Yeah, settlement deed. Yes, it is. It is. You. Culture penalty. What culture are? are I guess I have talking? a population that's non-Hellenic. Probably because they're technically they were technically Egyptian until five minutes ago. Um, <laughs> so they ain't anymore. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just immediate. Uh, you also get a huge bonus in the immediate turn that you conquer a yeah. territory. As yeah. kind of a... And you also you also need to you also need to um, put your own temples up instead of their temples, which is something that always drove me mad because that's mm -hmm. that's not that's not cost effective, right? Um, just yeah. like do you do you get the metal back after you've melted someone's inside? You should because it's valuable. <laughs> Why would you? Oh, you be know, friends with me. Yes. <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to fight horse archers with a phalanx. It's horrid. That's true, that's true. Uh, so yeah, see, can you can friends. you can offer that. Um and if you have if you have um, an available son or daughter and they have the the correspondent, you know, uh, unfortunately sadly binary um thing, you can actually mm. arrange marriage um and then you become and you can also inherit their territories if they don't have any other heir, which is incredible. Mm. It's uh, so you need so you yeah. need to know. Oh, the Pontus. Yeah, sure. Yeah, let's go. Uh, the, uh, the kings of Pontus were buddy buddy with the Seleucids. They the the Mithridates the sixth. I forget the, what the kings of Pontus so they, were. Seleucid princess. Uh, they intermarried also. I mean, uh, yeah, Armenia, sure. trade rights. The Armenians. So Everybody yeah, loves go. me. This is the you in in Rome too. Uh, the start for the Seleucids is even worse because they introduced the vassal system in Rome too. They also mm. expand all the way to Bactria. You uh, have that giant, yes. giant swath of territory. Yeah, um, the problem is that all your vassals fucking hate you at the beginning of the thing, uh, which isn't totally historically a thing. Like, <laughs> I mean, there were inside rebellions, but like, also, it didn't start with immediate hate the minute that you're like introduced into the Seleucids. You're just immediately <laughs> inundated like, with people them. that are. You no, know, they all secede, um, which it's not how that worked <laughs> around that time. Pero it makes the game at least uh, much more challenging to the oh, player. Yeah. At the yeah, yeah, yeah. If you, if you start with no Roman factions, everything is more difficult to begin with. Mm. Yeah. Um, for you know, for obvious reasons, because they kind of want you. I mean, uh, in this game, unless you do the 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 text modification, you have to start with one of the three Roman factions, mm. so you can commit genocide mm -hmm. in Gaul, um, in Greece, or in Carthage. You can choose. You can choose your genocide, right? Uh, yeah, and, it, and it's color coded too. You, you yeah, it's to color coded. Red, blue or green genocide. Exactly, exactly. So you can choose like each each of the Roman faction hates really hates another faction. 
Um, but also in these, I think that one of the missions for the long campaign is destroy this other uh, faction. Um, and I want to I want to say that for the Seleucids, it's the Egyptians. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Exactly. That makes sense. Right? Um, it makes sense that they would they would hate one another. Uh I mean, unfortunately, my my beloved kingdom of Pergamon, well, at this point, did not exist yet for another eight uh, years. You're, you're a Greek city state, or <laughs> I love <laughs> them. I love yeah. them. I love them so much. I have um, my eyes on them, but the problem is that the <coughs> Greek towns in Asia. Well, actually, Pergamon's relatively lightly garrisoned because how are now? Oh, wait. Oh. Uh, oh. No, because the army's like parked right outside. I'm oh, building that's up right. My, yeah, yeah. They're, just, they're just sitting there. Yeah, Furnace I mean... is kind of one of the main. Hmm. It's it's it, for the Seleucids. You don't really get like a big big capital. I mean Antioch, but they don't really have like a center point. The Seleucid kings would. It, it was an itinerant kingship. They would be on very the move. Persian. Yeah, very they would be Persian. on the move from city to city because if you stay in one place. Red flags pop up everywhere uh, else in the periphery. So one of the ways to kind of account for that is that the Seleucid king would move town to town, visit different. You would have these these cities. Antioch was kind of one of the main anchor points, point very much intended uh, in northern Syria. But Sardis was really one of the ones, the, the one of the main anchors for the Seleucids in um in Asia Minor. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm I'm right now thinking because i i really just want to push into egypt because so i'm I i'm mean, trying to recruit as much as <laughs> there's also those bonuses that you can you know that you can get if you yeah. conquer egypt then you get the one pyramid um i'm just gonna oh, love yeah. pikeman spam yeah i think i think that next week it, it is only fair that then we will play with Ptolemy. that makes I sense think. yeah yeah, yeah. I, it would make sense so we the can other play side of the coin see. Yeah, no, we're gonna. You know what? Mm. We're gonna roll a dice, and and whatever comes out, we're gonna, play. <laughs> <laughs> we're, gonna we're gonna let the gods decide. Um, <laughs> well, it should be easy taking a third century uh, uh, army against an eighteenth century Bronze Age army. Yes, yes, yes. Um, it's usually it's, that's usually what Egypt gets, which is the short end of the stick. <laughs> yes. For oh, there you go. See, one oh, of your daughters just turned of age, so. and these forty-one year old dude wants to marry her so you need to be very hmm. strategic in... he's got some good perks he is, he's not bad he's good he's just old but if she's young then you know Actually, yeah he, what age is the only he see. can still make babies so Let's see. oh she, oh no she, she was 26 that's okay, that's oh, okay that's not creepy that's oh Usually one of your one of your boys creepy. also came of age look at him my lad your lad is it Antiochus? Is it Clitus? Oh, it's not Greek pronunciation. I just wanted to... it sounds like Cletus. <laughs> well, you know, Cletus, uh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. also the lame erratic elephants. That's true. That's true. This is uh, the, the, the like kids of Antiochus. The Seleucid naming conventions are at least better than the Ptolemies. There, you well, everyone's Ptolemy. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not like Ptolemy the 80th by the end, but it's either Antiochus or Seleucus. You get some Demetriuses in there, but not many. Uh, the second century, because you have a lot of uh, questionable Seleucids, you get like a, your Alexanders get popped up there. You get a Diodotus. He's one of my I mean, favorites, but he's a usurper. Uh, if we follow Boris Krubozik's terminology, which I very much do. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, yeah. where the where the naming conventions like there's this pool of names and we're gonna use all of mm. them or is it just we're gonna have name nickname? Oh, like the epithet? Yeah, the the, the epithet. Or what do you mean? So like like would you would like if you had a son, would you call your son like your dad? Yeah, there was that kind of like retrojection back into mm -hmm. the very limited pool of naming convention. It's, it's kind of a way to also denote legitimacy and lineage, mm -hmm. right? Right. Uh, if you right. get a weird name, some people did have embraced weird names, like Diodotus gave it Trifon, and he was like, ah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm more emulating after Alexander than uh, Seleucid kings and stuff like that. So there was a lot to. Uh, a lot of meaning in a name. Let's go with that. I'm, but right now, I'm just trying to do my military build up so I can just steamroll, hopefully, uh, the Ptolemies. 
and reclaim rightful Seleucid territory. Fair. Uh, we also have Ptolemy, Ptolemy, or Ptolemyist. Yeah. Um, great. <laughs> Ptolemy <laughs> last after forward. Actium. Very true. Thank goodness for the nicknames. That's true. And also for the girls, Berenike, Arsino, and Cleopatra. Mm -hmm. You know, the great <laughs> classics. Um, I mean, the, the thing that I really like about the Italic dynasty is, is that it's like three, four generations, and they're all named Atalos or Eumenes. And that's it. We have it. an Atalus somewhere. Oh, so, yeah. I'm surprised my, my dog is firmly asleep. My dog's name is Atalus. I'm surprised I didn't. Oh. I didn't wake him up, but I think one of our diplomats is named Adam. Uh, your your dog that. would have been a better a better leader than the last Atlas. <laughs> anyways, not that I hate him, but the bastard. Um, but anyways, no, Atlas the third, like literally probably a bastard. Um, very questionable <laughs> paternity because when when it was thought that Eumenes the second, who was a great man. Um, had died, his wife promptly slept with his brother, and then surprise, surprise, <laughs> Humanist was alive. Um, and the girl was the woman was pregnant. So there's a lot of a lot of like drama uh yeah, in, yeah. in the courts of Hellenistic monarchs. Uh and Roman okay. and Greek historians love to write about it, which is probably why yes. we have so much of it. Yes, exactly. Um, and like and I'm I'm ready to believe that none of that is is true, but it's it's such a funny thing, it's such a funny story. And this, um, yeah, the also, story so also, nice. yes, the, yeah, no parents right. would forget the name of the heir in those dynasties. That's true. Zero confusion. That's fair. That's fair. I mean, it also happens in Roman households, right? If you have four daughters, they all have the same name. So you gotta, mm -hmm. you know, um, if you have children, it depends. Oh, yes, exactly. You know, Ptolemy, dinner's ready. All of them show up. <laughs> <laughs> 101 Ptolemies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we need that remake of the Domino. <laughs> also, Atalos Wheel, top 10 anime betrayals. That's very true. <laughs> but was it, first of all, was it really his wheel? Second of all, was it a very stupid move? I think not. Like, I mean, the, the dude had issues with his mother and flowers, but he could see, he could, he could also really? see the way that. The, the tables we, were turning. The things uh, were going exactly. Yeah. Also, yes, for for um for Roman Roman girls, prima secunda terza. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like you call you call all of them. Uh, thank goodness we don't have we don't have those naming conventions anymore. Otherwise, I would I would have my the f the feminine version of my dad's name, which is the name of uh, one of the days of the week. Um, so that would because that's how he was named because they had run out of boys' names because he was the seventh. Oh. So they're like, hmm, how, how are we calling this guy? Um, so, you know, sometimes, and they also had run over like names of fathers and forefathers. So <laughs> that's, that's when you get the dynastic issues and then you got to go with Demetrios and other things. Uh, 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 Dionysus. Cool. People like, oh. these are the three, the three choices that you can do for your Hephaestus, Dionysus, and Asclepius. Asclepius, mm -hmm. I mean. Um, Daniele, my father's name is Domenico because he was born on a Sunday. They were like, well, surely we can call him like the scent of the day. Nope, Santa Chiara, female. Nope, they couldn't call him Chiaro, so they had to call him Domenico. Um, so <laughs> there, are, there were issues there. I mean, in Greece as well, like there's uh, like Kiriaki for his first, uh, like is the same name for, for Sunday. Like it's a very common name. And like yeah. um, Paraskevi, it was just Friday as well. Mm -hmm. But then they shortened it to like Eva or Evi or something like that. Mm -hmm. Also, David, six generations of Marianos in a row. Jesus, wow. Jesus Christ. My family is a lot of Giuseppe, a lot of Giovanni, uh, a lot of Giovanna as well. So it's um, there's not a lot of variety in there. Um, what do you so, want? What do you want, Egypt? Why Egypt are you breaking, is, why Egypt are you is up the, to no the, good. They crashed the game. Uh, the Ptolemy, I they're, hear, I mean, the sound they're is going. They're really but... up to no good. Oh, can you send spies, though? Do you have spies that you can send yes. to Egypt? Yes, I, so I, can... I, I sent it to, I sent them, I think, to Parthia to make sure that they're not going to oh, backstab yeah, they're me. Right, right. They're, not, they're not up to bad yes, shit. The, the threat of horse also... archers. Yeah, it's also um... very Hellenistic. So, <laughs> so you know. Did, Backstabbing? Did... Did the game crash or something? <laughs> I don't, I no, it's sometimes, crash, sometimes it's frozen, it takes, yeah. Oh, for, it, yeah. Takes, it takes time when one yeah. faction is doing something. Right. Yeah, the, the, the Ptolemies are trying to figure out the best way to fuck with me. So they're, ah, the okay. Ptolemies are like using the cheats. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, that, is, that, there's a real person at the other side of the screen just thinking, what am I going to do now? <laughs> <laughs> like at the other side of the ATM, like it's the same thing. Like there's a person. <laughs> and 
this Lear person is actually one of the Ptolemies. So. Yeah. yeah, I mean, <laughs> if, if, this was, if this was later on, they'd be complaining to the Romans that the Seleucids are being mean to us. But which mom, is what happened later on, <laughs> mom, the Seleucids are still issues. Yeah, I mean, you have the you have the the horrid day of Eleusis, right? Or Antiochus the Fourth is at the very outskirts of Alexandria, about to take <laughs> what is it, the crown jewel of the Ptolemaic throne. And then you have a Roman delegation with some old fart coming in <laughs> the Senate that no one else wanted to go. So they sent the old fart and he came over and he's like, you're going to tell, you're going to stop it. Yeah, they're like, stop no, it. No, no. And then no. I'm going to drop it. And then the Antag is like, okay, give me like a second. I'm going to talk with my bros, my Feloi, <laughs> uh, which is the, the friends of the king. It's a very, actually a very important kind of system that they have there. He's like, oh, let me talk with them. And the Roman delegate, because he knew he didn't want him to talk to his friends because the friends might counsel him like, no, you should just steamroll. Yeah, just, like, just kill gonna, everyone. You did the draw a circle in the sand and I want your decision before you leave this circle in the sand. Um, which is a very, okay, I think, I think the Ptolemies actually managed. The Ptolemies crash. have crashed the game. We hate them. Thank you, Ptolemy. <laughs> yeah, I think they managed to do it. But it's, it's weird because they is still there, hear is the audio and everything, save? but... Uh, yeah, there's a load game. Yeah, I can just load the game. Okay, okay, that works. Uh, long poll Dure in the chat is saying, Ptolemies are Googling room one best strategies. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes, probably. Uh... Yeah, I'm trying to think of the, the strength of the Ptolemaic army in... Are the Brutii now going to crash the I game? Mean... I mean, who knows? You know that you can um, you can skip going to see the other factions, right? Like it will just is it, just is it actually them. doing that? Is it doing movement? Because I can't. I, I thought that was only when uh, you could see them through the fog of war. Like yeah, but like, but they're and... still, but they're still moving around. Um, oh, okay, let me see if I can. Uh, yeah, I have skipped. Oh, there you go. Okay, yeah. so I don't know. I mean, we we can we can wait if they're if they're. Crash. I mean, someone, someone, someone's always gonna gonna make a mess, right? Yeah, because here's the space bar, right, to quicken yeah. movement of armies. Yeah. So I'm hitting yeah. the space bar just to see, but all just just in case, just in case. Yeah. So the House of Bruti, which in Italian they were the Cornelii, um, the Corneli, right? Um, they hate they hate Greeks, uh, and they want to kill all of the Greeks. It's like mood. Um, <laughs> Well, yeah, they give them all like little personality quirks. Like, the 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 Julie fucking hate the Gauls so <laughs> they much. They hate the Gauls. Yeah, my it's my grandfather also hated them it's before they they gouge out his eyes. I'm like, well, yes, also a mood. Um, it in the chat. <laughs> Ptolemies know they have the cheats for the game somewhere, but, our, but their library is huge. <laughs> um, is if they if they wait a hundred years, there's gonna be another huge library in Pergamon with their own. Um, you know, patents registered uh, writing implement, the pergamine. Um, yeah. Allegedly. Antioch also had, Antioch also had a lot. This is one of the things, right, with the discourse about the, the I guess the popular discourse around the Library of Alexandria is the people in the the memes and the jokes, they see it as this this, this watershed moment of a loss of knowledge that's irrevol... No, it was a relatively minor thing. And there's also a bunch of other libraries yeah, exactly. Like the Hellenistic yeah, we... kings love libraries. It was a cultural flex on their part. Yeah, Antiochus I mean... had one in Antioch. Yeah, or, yeah. And yeah, the, yeah. there was one in Pergamon. They were, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. hello, hello. Uh, or right. also Purple Pants, which new translation of Metamorphosis? Who translated that? Who is the author? Yeah, I did see there was a new. Uh, it's a very mm. nice cover, I, I, I think, but I oh. didn't remember the, the author name. It's like this very reddish. Thing, Ooh, like... talk to me about it. Um, yeah, because I was on also. I, I've seen too. Because there's also the is it Emily Wilson the her Iliad translation? Oh, and that's she's working on it. She's working yeah. on the Iliad. Yeah, because I saw that that cover has also been around. Really, really, really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I I can't wait for her translation of the Odyssey. Made me fall in love with a poem again, like all over. Uh, I think. Oh. I, is it the the one by Stephanie McCarter? Stephanie McCarter. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's that I will go, I'll put it in the chat. Oh, incredible! Uh, oh, fantastic! I'm also, I'm also nice very glad to see more women translating, uh, which mm -hmm. is something that happens a lot in Italy. And then when Emily Wilson's translation came out, I was like, "Oh, the first one to translate it in English!" And I was like, "Hello, Rosa Calzacchionesti in Italy did it like in the you know, in the you, know you know the Anglo, uh, you know English 
Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, yeah the I know, superiority I know. of English. Yeah. And yes, Wilson's is coming out this year, and I cannot fucking wait. Um, <laughs> I I love it. I was actually talking to some friends who have never read the the poems. I was like, oh, which translation should I use? I was like, let me give you my copy of Wilson's translation of the Odyssey, and then wait like a few months, and we're gonna be able to read the Iliad. Then you're gonna love it or hate it. It depends if you don't like Achilles. Um, but great translations. Like if if yeah yeah incredible. Should we start um, with another? Maybe do the Ptolemies because it, it seems to be soft locked because I can move the oh, map around shite. and everything. But oh yeah, or yeah. or you know, but yeah, let's do the Ptolemies and hate them, or we can hate on the Ptolemies next time. Um, and oh, see that's true. what. Yeah, yeah. I can I can I can very quickly as the conversation goes. Yeah, yeah. We were like on it... turn three because we talked a lot, or, mm -mm. and I'm not a good person. I can't. Thank you that. for the uh for the link. Also, uh, does the Antioch library decline without Seleucid patronage or does it last into the Roman period? This is a question that I'm not allowed to respond. Well, I'm, I, I, I'm not equipped <laughs> to respond to, uh, but I think Eduardo will know. Wait, what was that question again? I'm sorry. I was, I was Ooh, looking at no, that. It's okay. Um, if the library of Antioch declined without the patronage of the Seleucids or it lasted into the Roman period? I think it did, but I'd have to look. I have to, there's a came out in 2020, but I forget the name of it. There was a really great book on uh, Seleucid literary production, uh, kind of an album, because we have a lot with Ptolemaic literary production, right? Because they, uh, what is this, what's this damn face? Uh, Callimachus. Uh, uh, I love Callimachus. Don't, don't talk shit about my voice, <laughs> yes, I like him as well. I like oh him as God. well. Oh I was, uh, it was Seleucid posturing. I had mm -hmm. to. Um, pero... We don't have, uh, I don't think there's any mention of it not being around and a lot of other uh, Seleucid institutions continued on uh, in Antioch into the Roman period. I mean, heck, you have Libanius, uh, what is like 600 years after the foundation of Antioch, writing about like uh, Antioch's history from its fame foundation and everything. You have coins of Hadrian showing the foundation myth of Antioch under Seleucus. Seleucus was sacrificing uh in uh in a nearby mountain asking zeus hey where am i gonna found the city as people are wont to do uh and the story goes that an eagle swooped down picked up the sacrificial meat and threw it into the place and that was said to be the place where zeus commanded seleucus to found antioch always um, a classic yeah a good old um it's a good question. I don't know off the top of my head, but again, I don't remember anything about the destruction, so I imagine it'd have to still be around. And um, hmm, yeah, have to look into. I forget what the title of the book was. Uh, maybe he goes into it. Um, Arcane Fisher. Oh, is it? It'll come to me eventually. Hey. In a dream. I see. <laughs> Prophetic dream or something like that. Let's um, see. Let's see. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, okay. like the lit literature in the Seleucid or something like that. Um, 2020, I forget the name of the author off the top of my head, but I've used it a lot. It's a very good Let's book. see if I can find it. Um... Okay, well, Wikipedia, Wikipedia says some historians cast doubts that it was ever actually destroyed. Um, so... You sure. Know. Is it uh, Beyond Alexandria literature? Yes, Empire yes, Beyond. Ah, there you go. Empire by uh, Marin Visser. Marin Visser. Thank you. I think I said Martin. I think the, I think the Seleucids are cursed in this playthrough, by the way, because it's because stopping it's crashing on the exact again? same one. Ooh. Ooh. Let me try the Ptolemies. Let me just try. Yeah, let's try. Let's see. Let's this see what is, happens. Yeah, this is a weird... Um, Thank you. Yeah, but that book is really because we don't have uh, this is one of the problem one of the huge difficulties uh in Seleucid studies is that a lot of your, your documents literary attestations are um from outsiders looking in like uh, most of the stuff for the Seleucid army is through Polybius or Livy or Polyanus. Uh, you don't have insular literary records for the Seleucids because they don't exist. It's piecemeal. You can kind of see like Strabo talks about a uh, Barosus or stuff like that, talks about these different authors that were around, but we just don't have their works and they kind of get uh, cannibalized uh, by later Greek and Roman authors for their own and they get cited. And that's, it's like, 
you deconstruct it based on citations. But um, thank goodness we have those citations. Like, thank goodness yeah. to all those very boring people <laughs> who cited other shit from other yeah, people. Like, yeah. We, we love them. We love them. We would have them. so many fragmentary historians that we would just have no damn clue that they even Pink existed. He's yeah. a little too up north. <laughs> just Everything's a, a little yeah, just a squished. Little. Thieves is on the side of Abydos. I, little... I will, I will, I will sheepishly admit I have never actually played the Ptolemies in all my long years of they are underwhelming. A lot, <laughs> a lot underwhelming. Uh but you can look at the at a family tree and have a good laugh because everyone's Ptolemy, probably. No. Oh, all right. Oh no, they gave they gave like um very Egyptian names, which is not something that the the, the Ptolemies would have done. <laughs> So yeah, we have some very cla I mean classical, classical Egyptian names like name of the god Hotep, so theophoric names. Um yeah. we have Kiyam, we have Ptahotep, and we have also Kia is a feminine name, but that's a dude. So mm. okay, you know, gender gender. Oh, doesn't there's, matter a, there's, for an there's an Arsinoe. There's an Arsinoe. Yeah, yeah. That's great. That's great. Eurydice. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Merire, okay. Yeah. Ahmose. Ooh, that's an interest. That's that's a heavy name to carry. <laughs> Mary Ray, okay. At okay, least they're like, at least the kids look less demonic. The, the, the male, the, the, oh, the... Yeah, the females are, oof. oof. Still kind uh, of, kind of... Um... So they get that going for them. I, oh, I have a fleet now. Yeah, well, we but got the, Salu Cyprus. the Salukids are never a naval power. Uh, I mean, they had a navy. We know very little about their navy. Uh, because, again, we just don't have a lot of documents. Uh, we do have an inscription from Sidon. Actually, I, ju I just uh, wrote about this. An inscription from Sidon, I think it's in the under Antiochus the Fourth, so let's say second century, let's say like a 160, something like that, um, where there's an enclave of Sidonians living in another city, and they sent a proposition uh, to Antiochus going, Hey, can you give us a break on our taxes? Uh, because our grandfathers fought for your grandfather and they mm. did a naval service. They actually say not to Genkaya. Um they, didn't, they performed naval service. So there was a thing. There was a Seleucid fleet, but certainly not to the extent that the Ptolemies flexed their naval power. Um, yeah, no, they, they dominated, uh, for lack of a better word, this area. So I'm going to use that to my advantage uh, now mean, that they actually give should. me a fleet and see about this hodgepodge of an army that I have. <laughs> I don't get phalanxes. No, how do I get phalanx? I guess the barracks and I have to... Actually, when do you get phalanxes as the Ptolemies? Later. Is Much la later? later in the That's game, crazy. I think. I think later in the game. That's crazy. Why? Oh. Mm. I don't like... I like my men with pointy sticks too much. I like having that anchor. Mm. Well, I will make do, I guess. At the oh, very yeah. least, I can, I can tax them someone, to high heaven. Someone is using power tools outside the window, so let's go. Um, <laughs> anyways, I mean, it's, it's, there's always something happening outside of these windows. It's a great, it's a great place to live. Um, <laughs> Sounds like it. Could we not? Oh, boy. Actually, I don't, I don't like hear it that much. I also, I, I heard like a, a horn or something, but that was it. Okay, Did yeah, that's, that's okay. That, that happens. Yeah, that, there it is. Yeah. Again, so you foresaw the someone, someone, you know. Yeah, I, uh, I mean, it, your, your uh, seer powers are, are starting to rub off after uh, <laughs> two years of uh, <laughs> streaming. We're missing the, the volume on this. Just say "mighty general" eight thousand times, and uh, you will have successfully replicated my turn. I think it's with my game now. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Let's try to restart the game. Then. Yeah, probably try try yeah. to restart the game. Let's mm. see, let's see if that's that, so if, weird. I've never that is a weird thing. Like yeah. But good thing is we can we can continue the one where we had already committed war crimes. Oh, that's true. <laughs> yeah, at least some semblance of accountability. <laughs> yeah, you have to let's live see. with it now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, uh, to brave. Okay. Oh, we had a quote from like Kyrgyz. <laughs> what a sentence! Long Paul Judy said. Yeah, uh, th th these are like things that you only hear when people are playing video games. Ho I yeah. hope. Um, you know, hope. Yeah. <laughs> that disclaimer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
It is the <clears throat> exact same point. Okay. Oh wait. Uh... Duty. Yes. God bless okay. the Total War AI. Oh, <laughs> yes. What? Oh, they they want us to become a protectorate? Get fucked. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Get fucked. No. I thought it was... I thought that they wanted to be... Oh, no. Yeah, no. What? I have I have phalanxes. Let's see here. Okay, so... Okay, well... Now I can steamroll them I mean... effectively. I should have done that. Um, so th the, the chat is asking, did any of these cultures have a concept of war crimes? That's interesting. Nah. Nah. I mean, or, or did they, like, uh, uh, the I mean, concept okay. of, like, I mean, like, honor on the battlefield or something? Like, that you okay. don't break? Mm. Uh, like, were, were there rules to, like, war? I, I don't know anything about that. But you I mean, break I break them think almost of, like, immediately, also because yeah, war, right? Yeah, like, I, I, I can think of like several, several generals from like from Rome, from Egypt, from you know anywhere, like committing, committed what we would we would now call genocide, like Caesar mm, in Gaul. Yeah. Um, Alexander entire. Didn't have a problem with that. <laughs> Alexander entire. Uh, yeah, I don't think as we understand the concept today. No. Um, yeah, there's no like Geneva I mean, conventions I'm, or anything mm. like that. No. no, no. Yeah, yeah, like uh, I'm on hold up the second, like killing, burning 250 people alive in a ditch, um, and and bragging about it, and then like you know displacing like some ten thousands of people because because he could because you know it was a dick measuring context, um, even like, I mean the things that are like kind of frowned upon at least in Rome is like um, when you get prescription lists mm. under uh, Marius and Sulla. Thanks. And then these bands of like basically SWAT teams, once again, my door, um, <laughs> go like, you know, in town and just kill people that are on the list on site and take all their stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but that's but that's frowned upon because it's like disrupting the life. Like you're not supposed to be armed inside of Rome. You're not supposed to wear weapons yeah. inside the city of Rome. Yeah. Um, it's also very violent. And it's like, but like if it's violence that you cannot really see in the city, it's usually not, not frowned upon by much. Um, when and especially in case of sieges, um, violence is uh, one of the things that some generals actually encourage their troops to do once they breach the gates. It's like free for all you go. So, for instance, um, during the siege of Matia in the third century uh, BCE, the tyrant of Syracuse, Dion Dionysus, Dionysius, Dionysius, whatever you know, a tyrant, well, yeah. um, went to Matia. Yeah, siege the island. What is an island? Um, he besieged the island with with uh, triremes, also dragging some of them. Um, it's a, it was a Phoenician, well, a Carthaginian island. Um, they they put up quite a resistance. Once the the walls was breached, carnage, absolute carnage, and all the Greeks that were inside the city of Matia were crucified. They were not offered, you know, mm. uh, any any good conditions. They were not killed mercifully. They were actually crucified because they. I mean, fuck you. You're Greek and you live in there. Fuck you. You're gonna die screaming. So, um, no, I I don't mm. think they had a, a concept of human rights um, and war crimes. I, uh, um, they could realize, but like they could realize like the gravity of yeah thing. I mean, that's that sort of like the Trojan women and all that. Like yeah. They would. They were very aware of the horrors See. of war, mm. um, but that's because it could happen. I, I think, like, it, also because it could happen to anyone, right? Yeah, it's not no, like yeah, you're never going to be thing, touched by war. With, like enslavement, right? Is enslavement could happen yeah. like that yeah, to you yeah. In, in, yeah. In, in ancient life? And yeah. Apparently, there was a, a book in 2016 called "The World History of War Crimes from Antiquity to the Present." So, if you want to know more, lovely. The... Yeah, I'm, there is that. You notice I'm doing, uh, I am uh, hardcore um, cheesing oh, this, wow. uh, as the kids would say. Look at you. Uh, because uh, they betrayed me. Oh, they're retreating. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, the Parthians. Oh, Leave me alone with your scary okay, horse just... archers. The good thing is go, go back they to... can't siege. Go... Exactly, because they have no siege, yeah. no siege yeah, engines. No, no, no. Like no siege units, so no oh, weapons. So they're like they just have. If, a, if they know it's a stream, they're like you have to be entertaining. 
So you <laughs> must go out. Damn it. I'm like, no, because if we go out, we're going to get killed. They, they have cataphracts. The Seleucids also use cataphracts. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, they, they, a lot of the Seleucid cavalry corps was recruited from media. Mm. So, so the upper extremities in Mesopotamia, um, and, and, uh, they use them to great effect, especially with a phalanx, right? You have the, the anvil mm -hmm. that is the phalanx where you just crash against the wave of pointy men with, and then your cavalry, because the Seleucid cavalry was so good, the, the, the plan was to have them kind of get around and yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. uh, anvil and hammer. Uh, that was the name of the yeah. game, but they seem to be wanting yeah, to just that's... chill outside. Uh, so for the sake of the stream, I'm going out. For the sake of the stream, <laughs> okay, we're going out, and we're we're gonna, see, we're gonna see the fame party on. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see the party and cavalry in action. Actually, the, uh, the party and cavalry was a pain in the ass for yes, everyone. Yes, which is why Literally I don't want to fight them. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Especially exactly. since I don't sense. have um, any light. I mean, I have a general's. Skirmish. I mean, you have some light cavalry. Oh, with the with the hats. I love the hats. Hey, very. I, they're uh, actually. I think these are relatively mid to heavy. These are supposed to be like companionish cavalry. They're not called that. There's just a general's bodyguard. Everybody gets a general's bodyguard in these games. Um, it's a very good riding hat. That you see a lot in coins, also. Um, uh, very Macedonian riding hat that they have going on. They that's what, no, I thought about tassels. I forget what the name of it is, in the, but you see it in coins um, all the time, especially in Bactrian coins, because the Bactrian kings, there are a lot of equine or equestrian imagery to them, especially. I'm just sending my, like, peltas out to try to tease them, to, hey, the gates open, but they seem to be just, will they do anything? Hmm. They're just, they're just they're very patient. It's, it's also total war AI. Like it's not the best. Yes, yeah, it's, yeah. it's not it's the best. Twenty AI. years old. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but but even like total war Warhammer, the the one that I mm. play religiously, don't get a creative assembly has not had a stellar way of kind of getting the AI to work around mm. the framework yeah. of their game. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Maybe they got lost. Uh, also, the video in the chat is saying that actually horrors of war yeah. were sometimes displayed quite literally. To make a good epic moment after a victory so not like from a human approach that's true mm. although if you read um i mean the the tragedies are a thing you know on its own because you know poetic sensibilities but like even if you look at if you look at um like monuments like even in art like some some moments of like some some horrors of war are represented in art and like sometimes i ask myself how would people see that like would they be yeah. like yeah, let's go team or would it be like oh hmm, yikes right and some things are definitely, um, uh, oh my God, condemned. Like um, Ajax, small Ajax raping Cassandra in the temple. That's mm -hmm. absolutely condemned. But it's mostly because it's in the temple. Like the problem is not, it's not the assault. The problem is like it's in the temple and she's like clinging to the statue of Athena. And it's like, oh, well, you know, if it had been, ha if it had happened outside, then it was his right to do it. But since she's clinging to a statue, that's yeah. a pretty good it's like, Why is it going so fast? It's a lot of, of problems. Oh my god. Did you just Yeah, good old Total War AI charging cavalry right into right into the spears. Yeah, incredibly light would, Parthian would, horse archers straight would, into would horses just charge into a wall of spears. This is me not being a horse girl. Um no, I, I mean we, you don't want to. Like, right? they, I, mean, I don't think, but well, one of the things is, right, you have the Napoleonic formations of the, mm -hmm. the square formations, and that's one of the things that horses do not want to charge yeah, into. Right. So I think the same thing has to account similarly to some extent for spears, but even then, if you were a seasoned general, you do not want to send. This is what yeah. happens in, if you remember that uh, show Time Commanders, where you they had like average, I think it was a BBC Two show in the early 2000s, where they had just regular people that were like grocers and stuff. And like, oh, we're going to have you be an ancient general and recreate a battle um, and, and try to win it. And they use Rome Total War, uh, but they didn't call it like a video game. I think they just called it like a simulation. Mm -hmm. uh, they didn't want to just call it a video game. So they had to like zhuzh it up mm -hmm. uh, because it's the early 2000s. So video games are still eh, nerds and stuff like that. Um, but uh and there was a lot of times where they would just charge cavalry straight into in, uh, uh like heavy pikemen and stuff like Infantry that. Lines, like so that's, that's the Parthians are being very Parthian-y 
Ring or Ring or Yeah, Saki. they're running away and, and yeah, because you they win. have light light horse archers. They want to not engage directly, aside from whatever the heck that charge was. Um, so they're very. I don't know if it's smart, because again, it's the total war AI, but they're trying to draw me out of formation, and it's working right now, because my phalanx, I don't know why the AI is just like, not even, yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean, look at the cataphracts just sitting. I'll take it. I yeah. Mean, I'll, I'll, oh. I'll take it. I'll take the we'll win. We'll go. We'll go. If you want to charge your general and not use him, I'm going to, yeah, oh, right, no. let's... Mm. let's kill that. They're they're big, but they're not moving. Oh well, it sucks. Yeah. I do I do love all of this. Oh, now they're moving. Um, yeah, okay, now Alex, they're doing in the, it, yeah. the Battle of the Pelennor Fields, they have the tactical advantage of uh, having Gandalf with like his his pharos, you know. <laughs> no, but uh, uh, Gandalf is in the city walls when the people of Rohan attack. That's true. That's true. So that, but the, they know. There's the horses. Oh, but they're uh... they're they're going against the sun. Like they are against the sun because they're coming. With yeah, the, with the rise but they, they all but it's run also into bullshit. the spheres. Yeah, uh, and they're also fact, using like the, the, the thing, the, how do you call it? The, like they're, they're attacking like in a, in a triangle formation. It's not a triangle. It's a very, it's, it's more like a rectangle now, isn't it? I don't know. I remember. I remember them going like like one like in a triangle formation. Maybe I misremember. But like, but they're also like going against people like people orcs with pikes. Yeah, oh, that's what like I'm they're ready yeah. for that. I was like, ooh, how? When, when I was uh, in New Zealand a couple of months ago, we actually went to the Pelennor Fields place where they shot it. And nice. It's pretty, nice. It, it's, a, it's a bit under, underwhelming. I also think you're talking about Helm's Deep, Kate. Um, th I think that is a more triangle like. All right, if this wins, then I'm good. I mean, that's but what. Well, if this up. wins, you will be better than Crassus. This is one of the frustrating <laughs> things about fighting the Parthians is that they just run. They just run. Over you, and they assaulted a force that I thought that they weren't going to assault because they two turns ago gave me like their map information and a treaty and a, mm -hmm. a trade right treaty. Just kill the general. Just kill the. Just general. kill the damn general. Let's get yeah. him. Oh, the, yes, yes. There's a lot of, uh, yeah, they're running away. Oh, uh, the, the voice guy was like, the enemy general is running away. This is no yeah. way for a leader to behave. And it's right, exactly. So, yeah, the, the concept of you, you, need to, you need to die on the battle. It's very Roman, the Wotio. It was a thing. <laughs> it's a very Roman thing, like, especially oh, yeah. when, like, when, when Catalina is, is, you know, even, even though he's fighting against Rome, um, they make like someone makes a point of noting that all of his wounds are on the front, so he wasn't running away. He just he just he died like facing you know, <clears throat> facing his enemies. So they're like, well, you gotta give it to him. At least he died yeah. properly. Yeah, I mean, it, it predates um, Roman as well. I so, mean, it's Spartan poetry. You also have that idea. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, it's just yeah. that the is like yeah. the thing. I mean, um, but I, you have a. Um... I, I, you even have a uh, Athenian orator <laughs> telling Philip to hey. Don't charge headlong into battle because we need you to be alive so you can fight mm. the Achaemenids, like mm -hmm. the body of the king, because the king is the state <laughs> in many ways. Mm. No, so mm -hmm. the king has to be preserved and con yeah. but, but also martial excellence is a thing that the king needs to do also. Yeah. So it's this balance of like you have to survive the end of the battle so that the kingdom doesn't. Fall apart. But also you need you, you need to fight it in the front yeah, because you need to flex see it. you. Um, yeah, exactly. I mean, that's that's something the pharaohs yeah. did all the time. Um, and and at least one of them was um, mangled in battle. Um, put the poor dude. Uh, but they they had you know the good the good taste of sending his body back mm. to his family. In that heat, um, I I can't imagine any of that was pleasant <laughs> for anyone involved. Um, I mean, the dude was you know mercifully already dead. But um, yeah, but it's it's a thing. Like you need you need to show that you're that you're like this example of mm. masculinity and like you know you're like the strongest the best and everything else like what if what if you're not what if you're ooh, oh that's, ooh. A good, that's, a, that's a good battle oh boy I okay have, I that's have a, a good battle okay so solid, we're fighting a solid wall of phalanxes i think and i have some solid skirmisher cavalry okay. and i think some mercs also 
We're good with that. Uh, also, let's remember the Spartan poetry that Alex was citing. Um, I'd rather have a short general with like crossed legs, <laughs> ugly as fuck, who knows what to do, than a general who looks great. But, but there was also there's doing. the Greek word for because one of the it's like something about like uh, shaving or like or basically like uh, yeah, cleaning yourself up, shaving. I forget what the Greek is for, yeah. but it's in that poem. It's like I, I want a general that like isn't. You know, uh, manicured and everything. Yeah. And when I translated, mm, yeah, in exactly. Poetry class. I translated that Greek verb. I think I used manscape, and the professor <laughs> didn't know what manscape was. I like uh, so that. I have to explain manscaping. <laughs> I mean, we don't want a manscape general. Yeah, we don't that's want a general manscape. Cool. Though, I mean, you, you want a, you want like a seasoned. <laughs> exactly. Oh, exactly. Uh, you know, yeah. a scruffy. You want a scruffy yeah. general? Those, uh, yeah. But every one of those manscaping ads on YouTube now would just have this oh, second ad, like God. saying Spartan generals hate him. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> every YouTuber is now <laughs> sponsored by that manscape thing, mm. like the Sasquatch or whatever the heck it's called. So everybody's like, yeah, like you, oh, you just want to hear about you manscaping. Like, I don't want to hear about your bodily habits, you weird no. YouTuber person. Like you want to show, like, no, uh, exactly. like you show a YouTube video to your parents, and that's the ad you get. Like it's n never like a normal ad or something. It's always that one. Yeah. That's why you use ad that's blocks. Right. My laptop has had problems with ad blocks, so I'm not trying it again. But yeah. Okay. Um, see, I I don't get I don't get these so uh, these these ads, so I wouldn't know. But sometimes I'm like, oh, thanks to our sponsor, Manscaped. I'm like, Jesus <laughs> fuck. I mean, um, I mean the, the, just yeah, stop the ad block it. doesn't work for like in like sponsors mentioned in the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, they need to. Bad. Uh... That's why English is clearly the superior translation language. I mean, I mean, sometimes I would agree. Um, so wait, I uh, guess we are we? We're, 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 well, the... well, we're transported back in time to the Bronze Age, but we're against the. <laughs> Well, yeah, so we are in the Bronze Age. Time travel. And we are against the Bronze Age I army some, of Egyptians. I got some skirmisher cavalry, so I'm very happy about that. The only nice, problem is nice. that I believe they have bows that can outrange the skirmisher cavalry. Here is Antiochus. With his, yes, with his head with his, yes. Okay. So I have okay. at least two regiments of relatively heavy cavalry, and then I have Edwin warriors. Oh, yikes. I mean, not yikes for how they're dressed and and what they're wearing, but like yikes for Yeah, Benjamin. that's a little yeah, that's a little odd. <laughs> but at least it's, it's, it's a little it's, odd. Well, one of the good things about camels is that camels freak out. Are they riding horses? Yeah, camels freak out horses. So they they're a good anti uh cavalry yeah. unit. Uh the only problem is that's well, let's good. See that's what, good. Okay, so I have heavy pikemen. I have one in the middle because they're pretty okay. good. I also have a mercenary. I have Eastern Eastern mercenaries, nondescript Eastern, Eastern mercenaries. mercenaries. Okay. That look exactly like the they look Persian infantry right. men. Yeah. They look yeah. Persian all right. Yeah, but then, well, and also Eastern. all mercenaries have uh, the green color scheme. Because green for money. I don't know why they made all mercenaries green. Right, because the uh, coin, yeah, the yeah, coin. Well, at least they aren't yeah. tribal. They aren't tribal warriors. Well, I mean, yeah, if you if you played with the barbarians here, they all wear uh, pants and tattoos. And that's yeah. it. That's the attire. Yeah, that's Nobody's how we, wearing a shirt. Uh, no, that's not true. That's how we Some of them do. Uh, do things. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah you, that, you Batavians. Uh, those are my ancestors. <laughs> so, yeah. You're... Your ancestors, exactly. That's what, that's what I mean. I know. I know my my Gallic tribes, <laughs> my German tribes, my my Gauls. I hate the Gauls. Um, although my my ancestors would say, "Ah, Greece could rule the world." Yeah. I mean, what the fuck? Uh, so what 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 Bronze Age units so we are we facing? Nubian Let's spearmen, see. which I guess is their attempt to do a phalanx. Yeah, with, with Nubian, Nubian spearmen. spearmen. Yeah. Um, one of the things about the there's a okay, so I have slingers, slingers, slingers. Okay, so as long as okay, okay, so I'm just going to send my infantry forward. They can keep busy the two things mm -hmm. of the spearmen, and I'm just going to exactly. use my cavalry as they should be used to mop up skirmishers because they're lightly armed. They can't fight against cavalry at all. So I'm going to see, because they have oh, yeah. reinforcements coming also. 
So skirmishers skirmish things. If they have chariots, they I'm going to laugh until until the end of the days. Oh my god. Oh my god. So the thing with chariots is that chariots are light skirmishers. They're, you don't throw the mm. chariots at people like you see in movies. You just you mm. just drive them around and throw shit at people, right? From the chariots. Um yeah. Also, oh, thank you. Um, the Bedouin swords are very much prop department yes. scimitars, not just an acronym, but we're mm. looking sword that was never popular in North Africa. Yeah, or you know, in 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 Western Asia, um, or anywhere really. But you know, the props. Okay. Uh, I mean, also the dromedaries, good boys. Yeah, very good boys. The toggle. Well, they're gonna round of ammunition anyways but i forgot how to do toggle melee mode i'm too used to like the new polished ui of like mm, total war 3 yeah. mm -hmm. and now yeah. playing the older games for total war you kind of get through the clunkiness of it but at least i managed to get pretty much everybody that i wanted to defeat from that initial skirmish i just have to redress Mm -hmm. Oh, there, there, there they are. Where did they come from? <laughs> oh my God! Where, why, why are they doing that? Why are they just going into melee? You don't, you don't. Oh my God! Where well, the heck did they come escaped. from? Yeah, they just appeared. They just appeared. I mean, I understand that in Egyptian art, you see, you see Pharaoh and his chariot trampling things. You're, you're not gonna trample shit with those chariots. They're yeah. light. They're very light. Um, and, and extremely dangerous to drive. We do have um, mention of so, Seleucid kings. Well, in the two mentions that we, well, more than, a little bit more than two, the two literary attestations that we have of Seleucid forces in combat, there is apparently scythe chariots being used by, I think it's the forces of Antiochus III. Um, but yeah, it's one of those things where uh, we have to reconstruct a lot of the Seleucid army from just whatever the Greek and Roman authors say about them, uh, which is incredibly say problematic because yeah, yeah. Uh, if you, uh, the Achaemenids suffer from this also, right? The Achaemenid army, a lot of what we know about the Achaemenid army is mostly through the lens of like a Herodotus or something like that. Um, yeah. Which is great in some things, but in other things, it's very, there's a certain historiographical tropes for historians very much, especially for Eastern armies. They very much like to see armies as kind of emblematic of the empire. So they go, ah, this is the army that invaded Greece. And then they love going into detail. Yeah. Uh, it's very hard to commentate actually while doing this. Uh, but they love going into detail. About, ah, here are all the peoples of the empire. So well, the peoples, yeah, it's like, no, that's not, a, it's, that's not they, how yeah, they, works. they focus on what makes the army composite because they want to do a visual depiction of the empire, but it does little to depict the right, internal right, right. coherency, the internal ways that the army is brought together and actually fights. Um, they don't care about that as yeah. much. Which is, which is. It's a pity. It's a pity because, like, it's um, Egypt, which is just as Oriental, quote unquote, doesn't get mm. the same treatment, right? When you talk about the Egyptian army, you're like, oh, you know, I mean, we, we kind of we know more how it was organized, especially you know in the Bronze Age, um, but even later. But you don't get this. Oh, this is a hodgepodge of different mm. people. And it's like Egypt is not mm. a monolith. And like they they have mercenaries and they have you know they got people from Libya, they got people from Nubia, and even like the people from the extreme north and to the south are very, are very different, you know among themselves, uh, although the equipment may have been sort of standardized, um, at least for units. But it's like, but it's with the Persians and then afterwards the Seleucids, you get this oriental, you know, oh, it's, it's a bunch of, you know, it's a bunch of different things, a, a, a lot of exotic stuff. It's the 200 mm. thing, yeah. right? When you have an army of people who don't mesh with each other and they're just a uniform, amorphous, you know, bunch of people being thrown at the small, organized, compact, you know, standardized army that was not the Spartan army. So, ugh, issues, issues, so many issues. Orientalism is with us again. I'm quickly learning. Um, uh, I, I have mean, much more respect now for uh, YouTubers that can commentate <laughs> and do these kind of things at the same time. But I think I've won it. Certainly yeah, not emblematic of a perfect battle so. by any means, but 
it works. This is what this is also one of the things about ancient battles is that more of the casualties are in the retreat, right? Because this mm. is where cavalry yeah. shines that they can just ba 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 just the unrelenting pursuit. Um, especially uh, more of the casualties occur during the retreat, and now the announcer is just yelling in my ear that the enemy's hearts are full of fear. Oh, yeah. Thank you. They get really into it. Although you the best one is the us? Shogun. Go to War One. He's awesome. He just yells at you. He's so excited about every victory that you have. Um, here the announcers are all right, but nothing beats the. I'm gonna fast forward now because I think. Mm -hmm. yeah, shameful display. Shameful. Oh, God bless him. He he <sighs> needs to be brought back. I think they did bring him back. I think for uh because Total War Warhammer 3 has a Cathay faction. And I think there was something about uh, that he voiced something or other in it. Uh, but I can't remember off the top of my head to go back to the Reddit. Oh, the, the, just ran over the general. Oh, there was there was there was a pharaoh just walking, it was just <laughs> yeah. ran over. I was like, yep, yeah, we, we lost the that last man. Um I the last man so. standing. Uh, Missing? I think you killed, yeah, because you have two of those yeah. sword things and your generals are alive, so clearly. Yeah, I think it's just the, they're routing, so yeah, it's just the little two, the two peasants. Yeah, there's like literally two of them. Oh my god, just just, just drop if it. It's a okay. battle, will it count as a loss? I don't know. I'm not going to risk it. There we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, see, yeah, no, yeah. don't risk it. Okay, victory, that's it. And the battle. Creole victory, thank you very much. The poor son of a god. Um, as we know from Age of Mythology, pharaohs are, you know, you, one dies and you get the number two, like, <laughs> immediately. It's just, that's how it happens, right? The immediate oh, successor. I get, I get Jerusalem. Oh, that's, yeah, that's Jerusalem? Buddy. Yikes. Very important nice, for the Sulkin. Nice, nice. And we had only two units of mercenaries. Yeah, I mean, I, so, I really should drop these, but I can't disband while I'm laying siege. Uh, Oh, you can you can use them to yeah, get yeah, if anything, yeah, I can just them. send them in as Captain Amazis, good name. Here. Uh, good Egyptian not... name. Yeah, I mean, what else if not? You know. It's one of the funny things. So we get Damascus, like right away the Seleucids start with Damascus, which is fine. Uh, I have no quibbles uh, because Damascus changes hands relatively frequently. But around this time in 270 is when we start. I think 271 is when Antiochus conquered Damascus. And one of the funny things is because sieges suck. No one really wants to do a siege. They're a drain on your men. They're a drain on your time. They're a drain on your resources. You get attrition. Yeah, and you don't, like, the technology is also not there uh, for, for, like, a quick siege, a down and dirty siege. You typically want to bribe them if you can, which is why yeah. diplomats are very... Nice. Maybe I can actually. Maybe I can try to blind. do a ceasefire. Yeah. No. God, you mother. I just want. Just please stop. I don't want to fight horse archers. You're not supposed to come until later. <laughs> and yet, and leave yet. alone. Except, or we will attack. That's a, that's yeah. how you do ceasefires, right? That's how you ceasefire. Yeah. yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. <laughs> now watch them be like, okay, no. Yeah. Yikes. I, I guess the only way that I can... Oh, it's just him. Oh. It's just him. I mean, yeah, you yeah, could, you could send an sure. assassin and just dis dispose. Good thing. I'll, I'll send one right away. But so yeah. Luke, or Antiochus the first apparently, according to Polyanus, who's a much later author, and he has this book on very unfortunate name, uh, much later author, and he has this uh, book on stratagems, uh, and he says that uh, Antiochus actually got Damascus. He didn't want to do a siege. So he just sucked. So what he did was he kind of pushed the army back so that they couldn't see him from Damascus. And this was a Ptolemaic garrison. Um, and he basically did a Parthi or uh, excuse me, a um, a Persian celebration, uh, according to Polyanus, which is just a big old luxurious festival. Um, and basically the, the Ptolemaic garrison was like, oh, so they're doing that. So we can just like be chill. And like not and, keep oh her watch God. and everything, and that's how Antiochus. Because then he ordered his army to march like a forced march, like a four-day forced march. Like, pack up all your stuff, forget about your and train. Go. We're going oh light, God. crosses a desert, 
and makes it to Damascus before the Ptolemaic garrison knows what's up. Um, so a lot of tricksiness. Sieges are won by tricksiness more than just like oh yeah grinding attrition in antiquity. Mm. Oh yeah, um, we have this this beautiful story from uh, from actual Bronze Age Egypt um, of the uh, I think it was the siege of Joppa, um, mm. in which they use the um, the Alibaba trick and they smuggle in soldiers in jars. Um, and then they open the gates from the inside. Yeah, General uh, Jehuti uh, smuggles in his like some of his soldiers in jars and like pretending to be a trading company. Um, and then by night, the soldiers come out, open the gates from the inside, and the people just you know the, the rest so the, of the army goes in. I think the Illyrian queen Teuta. Um, I think she because I, I I think I mentioned this in a foot in the chapter I wrote um, that her troops were going into a port city mm -hmm. and they oh, we're just visiting a port city we're just looking to resupply but they hid weapons in jars and then they tried classic. to take this greek city yeah uh, it ended up failing, also yeah also the trojan horse also a great the classic gladly. yeah 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 i mean yeah 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 it's it's like it's always always oh okay oh that's your boy yeah, 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 but I don't know how the auto resolve, and I really don't want. I'd have no range units. So it's going to be such a boring bat. I have one cavalry <laughs> unit, my general's cavalry. Oh, boy. I'm hoping that auto resolve is messed it's, up in this game. It sucks. Yeah, okay. yeah, it doesn't really. I'm oh not, my god. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not attacking them. I don't want to. Oh my god. Push them into the corner of the thing. They're so not fun to fight if you don't have any ranged infantry troops at all. But I'd much rather assault Jerusalem. I mean, again, a thing taken. Great a classic. Sentence, a sentence. This is a sound bite. I have to remember yeah. that these things is recorded. Yep. <laughs> yep. I mean, listen, it's a great classic. It always happens, you know. Somebody will. Or, what are your thoughts on this? And then it's going to be like, I would rather take Jerusalem. <laughs> yeah, exactly. An Someone AI generated. I Twitch. mean, look at that absolutely, you know, incredible. Jerusalem with no hills. Oh yeah, this is wow. totally one to one. Mm. There are no hills there. There's one single road. Incredible, fantastic. The good thing about it. Listen, for the about time the phalanx is you have just the spiky wall of an eternal spiky moving wall of death that are they're so good in in cities because it's just narrow. Yeah, uh, narrow. They streets. just crash everything. But you need you need to breach the gates first. Yeah, which I'm I'm sending my like you said I'm sending my mercenaries that I was gonna yeah. disband anyways. Yeah, I mean they're cannon fodder. Well, in this yeah, case yeah, they're yeah. they're arrow fodder. Um, so you know, might as well send them them boys. After playing again, after playing Warhammer for so long, like I'm so used to having like ogres and like mm. things that can break down yeah. <laughs> uh, gates like suit like, where are my brutes yeah yeah like crazy units that can just like, where's my magic i don't have magic yeah, exactly where are my casters yeah. oh my god and the closest thing is i guess sacrifice right the customary sacrifice yep. before a battle well yeah if but the that's gods not really say yes. yeah yeah because if the gods say no then it's no so you just keep sacrificing until you get a good one, or or, I, or, 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 or you, you throw, throw the chickens in the ocean. Which is something that totally happened, as we know. Yes, the chickens. The ch I mean. Okay, I mean that's that's uh, that yeah that's 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 a little gate. You're gonna yeah, surely buddies, look at those green buddies. boys. Look at the green boys. Just... Yeah, you're gonna be the first men in to <laughs> survive. Definitely. I love the animations of them just standing I love still. It. They're just like chilling. it's a self. It's a self doing ram. It's a perfect ram. You know, mm. it's just it's just it's just that good. They have yeah, like they five people the... defending. In the it's beginning, like... the yeah, in the the. And the the wars of the Diadokoi, right? The successors of Alexander. There's so much sieging going on. Like you hear these story, like Demetrius Poyarkitis, uh, no, the the Demetrius the besieger, who has all these weird wonder weapons that he uses against various polities. But he's known as the besieger, not the city taker, because his track record is also sus. Uh, there we go. Nice. Nice. Yep, the gate has been breached. And the very strategic positioning of the chariots right in the middle of where right the Right in the middle so in. you can hit it immediately. 
Like the Total War AI is really is something, but sending my. Look at those chariots just getting into the fray for no reason whatsoever. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. I like how this is also slightly sped up. Look at that. There you go. These oh. mercenaries are. Yo, they're doing their job. You know yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just they're gonna use the them thing. if they can just. Yeah, just just steamroll. And they're supposed to be like relative. I guess this is also <laughs> medium difficulty, so. Uh, famous Ptolemy general Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> no absolutely. I mean, also, also a very, also a very Hellenistic um, thing. I think that was around the same time as his game, probably. Probably, yes. Yeah, the Leroy Jenkins thing. Yeah, the original. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. World of Warcraft it... was 2004 as well, so this is. Uh, yeah. So I think it shouldn't be that long after. Yeah, because it was what raid was it? It was the one with the black dragons. Yeah. I forget what raid uh, it was. Yeah, I also don't know. Like, yeah, it was... it's like the one with the dwarven forge with black dragon eggs yeah, and everything. Like a, yeah, like a very populated enemy thing or some. I, 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 if I yeah, I forget. Remember. I forget which one. Man, I miss yeah. WoW. That was oh, that was those were like golden days. Of, like, of, PC, of yeah. World of Warcraft. Part of a guild. I would log on. Yeah. Everybody would be there. The dungeon you didn't have the dungeon seeker thing so you'd actually have to talk to people to mm -hmm. find a dungeon yeah man i'm like just like going to friends houses and playing it for like a day or something yeah 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 and then, yeah the, the, that was fun like the burning crusade waiting for the thing to open up with everybody in the in your server mm -hmm. man yeah ban tiktok return to, return wow. to wow yeah <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah i mean i think humanity would be better for it <laughs> if that happened it was so wholesome it was and, wholesome yeah. it was like yeah uh, oh, i could just I go after that. school and then like play wow <laughs> wait maybe with time to do that like yeah oh also no. that i think there is a Those lot of yeah days. i think there is a lot of oh i could actually commit <laughs> that social interaction <laughs> return to wow <laughs> i mean wow is social interaction yeah Or, you know, Honestly, just send them to the Nubian Spearman. Just, just go. Do your job. And this is one of the things. Uh, mercenary forces. There were mercenaries before, right? The, the Hellenistic. Uh, you have yeah. Xenophon, oh. famously. That's the first one people can can go to. But even during the Peloponnesian War, anything like that, you see mercenaries springing up just because there's so much going on, uh, and and war is just endemic uh, at that point. Uh, but in the Hellenistic period, also, you just see mercenaries spring up everywhere. Um, and you see also like people getting known to be mercenary, like the the Cretans. Uh, I mean, what uh, do they do when you when you come from an island? You just, you yeah. just gonna, you know. The, I mean, also the Balearic slingers. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The like the like children children would 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 have like a sling in their hands before they could speak. Here so you, they could... yeah, you can recruit them here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. If I, if I, I think it's regional. I think I have to have an army. Like, yeah, the the recruitment. Mm -hmm. uh, I think yeah. there's something underlying there that it's based on the region. Yes. So we One are brave. Oh, they're the speed up. They're kind of doing a last stand in yeah. the city center. But I'm just gonna do this. Oh yeah. I mean, look at them boys. Look at them boys go. Yeah. Just steamrolling the Egyptians, alas. That could have been a title for the stream. Steamrolling the Egyptians. Now you capture the flag, you capture the city. They're routed, right? They're not soldiers, they're just frightened rabbits running from our men, says ah. the incredibly enthusiastic narrator. It's, all, it's always the missing? case. What are you all doing? Are they just they're just chilling. You know. Yeah, let's go. What's the what's the plan here? Fellas. Just, you know, chilling around. Do some skirmishing. Let's do some skirmishing. Yeah, kill some of those people. Only some of them. Only some of them. Not all of them, but like some of them. Yeah, I mean, look at the look at the skirmishers yeah. skirmishing. An appropriate yeah. amount. An appropriate amount of. I guess I Yeah, exactly. Imagine. Chilling, using ch child soldiers as some war crimes. The usual, you know, the good old days. The good old days. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Look at those incredibly phallic uh, uh, Phrygian helms. I mean, you know, 
I, I would expect nothing less from a Hellenistic yeah, buddy. kingdom. Um, uh, capture the settlement. I be, very, be, uh, be very careful uh, here, Eduardo. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to occupy it. Be very careful. That's not. I think already the Sidonians are already. Yeah, exactly. Not... So, you know, they're just. Uh, so yeah. things also, like, you kill everybody, so there's no one to, like, there's be no angry at work. you. Yeah. Oh, oh, I was thinking about the economy. You were thinking about social order. Oh, no, because like, yeah. the economy, you don't, I don't, yeah. I, it, <laughs> it hampers your population because, um, right, because that's how you, your civic centers, that's how you yeah. level them up. You have to reach a population cap and then you can build the next governor's yeah. villa or whatever it is. And that's how you advance. Um, yeah, there's well, you, a bunch you need of... to keep them. You keep to. You need to keep them happy and fat so they can make babies. Yes, um, yes, yes. And and increase your population once again. What a very uh you know, reductive reductive way of telling people. Um, it, I've yeah, seen a playthrough of yeah. these games with all mercenary armies. It was moderately interesting, with the guy sending generals out on long trips to recruit particular mercenaries and looting every unit production building to hire more mercenaries. Was that, that is legend, like, was that Legend Total War that did that? Because that sounds like something he'd do. He's this YouTuber that does like Total War challenges. He's very good. Uh, Mysterious mode, probably. <laughs> okay. Parthians, please. Parthians, just, just leave me alone. Please, yeah. Do the, do, you have a couple more years till. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Enjoy them. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we have a lot of Zeuxis. <gasps> oh, he's a, he's a famous. He's a famous. Well, I don't. This is obviously not him, but he's a famous uh, governor of Asia Minor under Antiochus the Third. We have a we have a couple of inscriptions from him. Uh, so I got real excited. Look at my my professional the professionalization of my army. It's one of the things in the Hellenistic period. Also, is just the increase in the profession, right? Because you have the, the reforms of Philip the Second. Uh, and how he reformed the Macedonian army, uh, and then the successors naturally use the the foundations that he uh, um, of his reforms in their own armies. He also played around with it. Oh yeah, well, I mean, for, yeah. for all his for all his um, issues with being a father, uh, Philip II was a good general. He was he was a good strategist. He was a good general. He had learned I would from the say best. Better than Alexander. If yeah, he, was he had learned to from live. the best because he had been a prisoner of war in Thebes, and he had learned from Epaminondas, the yeah. man, the legend, the myth. Um, so you know, um, still a lousy husband, lousy father. You know all of that, but good general. We're gonna, we're gonna and a uh, very shrewd politician. So yeah, he doesn't works. get yes. enough credit. He doesn't get enough credit for that. Oh, right? I'm Team he's... Philip all the all the yeah. way. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. No, he was good. It was good. Alexander is a nipple baby. We're doing cavalry stables and uh, cavalry uh, cavalry stables in Antioch, so we can recruit elephants. Although That's Antioch good. was not the uh, city uh, where the Seleucid royal stables were held. The Seleucid royal stables, at least in northern Syria, was actually in Apamea. Which mm -hmm. was roughly uh, yeah around there. Not very yeah around here. It was the famous yeah. Syrian tetrapolis, the four cities founded by the the uh, Seleucus the um, first. Uh, someone in the chat is asking if you have any thoughts on Rome's sacred band book. Uh, on on what? I'm sorry. Uh, uh, sacred band book by what's the what's the first name? Wait. I have not read a sacred band book. Uh, uh, James Rom, the sacred band. I know he does good work, so I, I have not read it, but it. I know he does good work, so uh, uh, I'm sure it's good, but I have not read it yet. And mm -hmm. I'll have to make a note to actually get I didn't know that he did one. But of the, of the Theban persuasion, I am... I am... I am I need I need to read more about it. So it's a good way of doing that. I just have to balance out, you know, dissertation reading. The, the dissertation reading, reading reading for yeah. fun is a thing. I didn't know that that was a thing. It is. Once you're done with your dissertation, let me tell you. Uh, let God. me tell you. A ward will open up. Wow. We see little need to end the fighting just yet. Okay, so I think maybe if I win one more battle, if they try to siege again... Because the yeah. Parthians are not good at sieging because right, but do I not think I think you can make. you can kill them on the field perhaps, and then maybe maybe yeah, they will think no. you know. 
Who? Why? This is the thing about the Salukas is that you're sandwiching so many people. Now the Pontus. Pontus, oh what have God. I done? Why have I displeased you, Pontus? <laughs> they're just they're just assholes. They're just poisonous assholes. Yeah, and, and later on the Salukas, we'd intermarry. We'd be friends. But <laughs> they haven't read. They haven't read the books. They don't Everybody know. Everybody hates the Salukids. There's the, the, the Salukids on the block or whatever the heck is the thing that, or the pun that everyone keeps telling me. The Salukids on the block, I think it is. <laughs> Undra. Que pasa aquí? Well, we're, we're, we'll have to do some recruiting. Antioch's going to have to. What's yeah, going even to, like? You know. Oh! This is the, the, the phalanx. As long as you got a solid. Ooh, I can do like actual phalanx. You can do pregnant. actual phalanx. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Not yeah. bad. Things look are at going good in Egypt. Yeah, look at all the Egyptian troops. Ooh. Yeah, but it's it's just a bunch of like little armies because okay. the, again, the AI doesn't really want to congeal their forces into anything of substance. So you can for some can reason, just, yeah, you can clean them. That works. Average yeah, victory. Yeah. Excuse you. Auto result punishes you for using auto result, but mm. but I mean. Like if you fight every little micro battle here, okay, you you never uh, see the end of it. Yeah. Okay. Everything. All my cities are building things. You can well, retrain. Can't... Yeah, I think there's. I'm retraining in Jerusalem. Okay. Uh, so Lucia on the Tigris, I have to hold on to. So I, actually, some skirmishers might be good for the cavalry. Yeah. The yeah, horse yeah. If they attack cavalry. again, if. I think they they're they're doing they something. Will. There's I... like a general down here somewhere. Mm. I think there he is. Oh, there you go. So they're they're up to yeah. something. Okay, there's only one one unit though. Honestly, the 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 AI for total war is note that we have brigands. They have little armies of yeah. rebel. The the our rebel armies are actually stronger than some of the states. They're good. Like they're that. good. Yeah. yeah, I use I used to bribe all of them. I'd be like, yeah, don't join me. What are you doing there? Just come, come with me. Yeah. I That's can one give of the you coin. That the security. You start seeing uh, Angelos uh, Caniotis has a really good book on. Um, no, I'm winning against you, Ptolemy. What? No, fuck You're, off. Yeah, like why? We're not You're becoming no your position. I just away. win against like three of your armies. Yeah, go away. Also, yes, an assumption is enough to declare war. Yes, especially in the Hellenistic period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, mm. Maybe, maybe you're doing something weird. Well, might as well declare war, right? That's how it's it one works. of the, the, the uh, Angelos Caniotis has this a war in the Hellenistic world. I think it's called the 2005. I think it's mm -hmm. a masterful book where he talks about just like how endemic war was and how that shaped law and and like society in general in this period. He looked at everything. Um, it's a really good book. Highly recommend it. Mm -hmm. also available on uh resources or you can get books for free that i'm not I mean, gonna say yeah. uh, so, uh, uh, for legal uh, reasons uh, for can. legal reasons <laughs> for legal reasons yes the fbi knocking on the door hi frank <laughs> so, hey frank how you doing <laughs> <laughs> always a pleasure you know okay so things are going well army is being shored up because we have the old school replenishment system where you actually have to retrain instead of like the auto replenishment in later total war games they're trying they're trying weird things around there oh just... look diplomats and like no, no. oh uh, yikes. i have two peasant mobs oh we are I'm losing not gonna tarsus play. aren't yeah. we yeah. yikes yeah and tarsus is one of those cities that actually stays in the seleucid like sphere no not in direct seleucid rule for mm -hmm. until basically the very end Look at the Scythians. the Scythians! Let's go! Yes, my boy, uh, my horsey archers. Yeah, my acceptance shows strength of character as well as wisdom. Thank you. Look well, at yes, them. Thank you. Look at them. Look at them go. Uh, yeah, they're yeah. they're. Uh, oh, look at our ships being. Yeah, sank. yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose some stuff. I really don't want to fuck this rebel. It scares me. Uh, yeah, Rimsim has a great mustache. Oh, the Scythians, like the barbarian factors, incredible hey. manscaping. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like how that's the word now. <laughs> yeah, this is the word. Of the day. <laughs> well, that's what we're gonna use. That's what we're gonna use. Listen, you got uh, you got a lot of. I don't think they're they're not worth the cost. Uh, okay, so things are looking good in Damascus. I would like a regional governor, but for some reason the game just keeps sending all my governors to Seleucia because that's, that's really the capital. Annoying. 
You can change the capital city. No, the, the, my capital is Antioch. Is it? I think it's because I have my heir there and he keeps having Ooh, sex with and he keeps having children. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. When, yeah, when the yeah. children get of age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just really horny in Mesopotamia. And it's I just, mean, all the children are there. I do, I'm, I'm, no, no. Mm. I, no. I, I, there I wanted to make you There was covers, something, I know, no. I, could, I could see the mechanism. <laughs> there was something going on there. Uh, let's see here. I don't want to say it's, uh, it's... <laughs> Chiara in the chat knows me. <laughs> the land between two something. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I mean, a very wet land. Anyways. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> No fertility, da, 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 exactly. something, it's, something. it's ritual, it's ritual. Yeah, it's oh, yeah, 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 rituals, perfect. Right? right? <laughs> I, these are <gasps> elephants. Oh, my God. Elephants. Yes, finally elephants. the elephants. I'm going to see all the boys just, in action. Just dump all my treasury into elephants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I want I want to see like the the That's like the last wrong. battle that we fight. I want to see I want to see the elephants. Like oh, we're gonna oh, yeah, wait until we have elephants on the battlefield. Sardis is also super populated with just bald people. Well, with my I bald mean... children. <laughs> oh god, but it's so annoying because I have enemies here, so I can't. Oh, I guess do I have a navy? No, because my no, because navy it's been sucks. sunk. Yeah. It has been Look, sunk, it's... unfortunately. Just... Listen, Pontus, why are you trying to talk to us if you know? Mesopotamia, I want Tarsus something back. in the water. I want Tarsus back. Yeah, no, that, okay, that works. So, I, I understand. Okay, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to leave a relatively... <laughs> Jerusalem, please. Just, just... Can I have no tax rate? No, you need to no, have No, you can't do... Yeah, you can't in do the thing. In this economy, not taxes? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I mean, is it really okay, an episode so. if we're not saying in this economy? I was, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking. Okay. Okay, much That's better. Good. It's been a while since we said that. Right? Because, it didn't you apply know. to Tomb Raider that much, to be honest. Yes! <laughs> oh. Arab cavalry. Yes! Arab? My boys! I mean... So the yes. Seleucids did use, they had certain agreements on and off with various tribes in, around the region uh, to supply their army. So it's actually relatively... That's good. And they have, they have the, 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 the boys, the boy, the good boys, meaning the, the dromedary. Just, yeah. give me, just give me trade rights. Yes, boy. Okay, nice. Let's go, let's go. Oh, let me be an annoying YouTuber streamer. Let's go! As they all are <laughs> want to stay for any uh, yeah. minor for movement of anything. Yeah. What up, everyone? <laughs> oh, <my laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Don't okay, forget to subscribe. So, oh my yeah, god. Hit that yeah. bell. Okay. Like and subscribe. Hit the bell. Yeah, exactly. Hit the subscribe so Zuxus, button. Zuxus is gonna be my Avenger for Tarsus. Uh, I am getting my, my my boys, my boys ready. The chunky He's boys. Gonna here. I'm gonna send Demetrius, which is a good so well. Demetrius in the second century is when you start seeing some uh, Dimitri. A link in the description, that's right. Also that. Oh my god. Okay. I forget I could also do little watchtower yeah, this was the funnest towers. thing for my like adhd mind i was like yes i need them in every single uh, like mm. border of everywhere the empire. everywhere yeah. so i can see what's happening it's like not really but yeah. i forget i should have been oh, yeah. doing that with my generals actually like sending just them out and doing this mm -hmm. is actually a, a, a good yeah so now i can see a little bit more of <laughs> what they're doing the chat is going crazy over these. The poor <laughs> elephants. We don't talk shit about <laughs> the poor can't. elephants about all of Raffia. They didn't want to be there. See, if, they, if they had a union, they would have not been there. You know, you know, one of my favorite stories ever is I forget the the name of the Saluki. I want to say Antiochus the third, just because Antiochus is there. But there was this story that the Saluki king, and there was a river that he wanted to cross, and the elephants were very skittish about crossing the river. And his personal elephant, whose name was Ajax. We have his name. His name was Ajax. Oh. He didn't want to cross. He was very scared of crossing this river. But there was an elephant called Patroclus oh who my crossed God. the river. He was the only elephant in the herd oh. that wanted to cross the river. And then once one elephant crossed, apparently they then see they it and they can like... go. Um, but Patroclus crossed the river. So the Seleucid king went, okay, I'm going to like give you a silver, is it a howda? Uh, yeah, a silver yes. howda. That you can put on your back. So he was like blinging it out with a silver gilded howda. And apparently Aww. Ajax the elephant. I think this is in um I want to say Pliny. 
because he talks about elephants and he's like, oh, elephants have a sense of like being safe. Like elephants have a sense of religiosity. Like oh. they raise their trunks to the sun. They they know about religion. They're they're sacred animals. Um, and this elephant in this story, this elephant could feel shame is the main gist of the story. Oh. So Ajax, that elephant, because he saw that another elephant got a shiny, a a shiny bling. Of, he the elephant killed himself. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, you 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 are the ancients you and their like die. thoughts on elephants. Yeah, I mean they are, they are very They're intelligent smart. and socially yeah. intelligent animals, and yeah. they mourn their dead. Yeah, the ancients um, recognized that they were smart, so they have these stories of just like <laughs> an elephant being uh, um, like, so ashamed. Yeah, so ashamed of losing a river crossing. Or, or not crossing a river that... Oh, here we have... Uh, what's his face? Who are we fighting against? Okay, well... Not Ptolemy II. Nectanibo Soter. Yeah. Which I, oh, I think he's he's a family member. He's not the, Yeah, yeah. The he's a, he's a young... Yeah. Young spruce. Okay, so you're doing good. You're doing good. Let me make sure all my buildings are... Uh, how are my elephants? Yeah, exactly. How are the boys? Okay. Yeah. Okay. My, my elephant doom stack. Is soon approach. Oh wow! Mother. Oh wow! Okay, 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 okay. What do you want? What do you want from me? I hear the police. Wow. Yes, I live near. Actually, it's, it. it's it's surprising that it took this long for well, like. Where do both of you live? Like, <laughs> the no police the like coming. I told you. He said he would door. like to like, conquer Jerusalem. <laughs> I mean, it's. That was a uh, ooh. Okay. I'm trying to see here. The annoying thing is that they have three reg yeah, three regiments of no actually three regiments of skirmisher cab, a Pontic heavy cab, and two things of scythe chariots. I'm good against cavalry because I have my men with pointy sticks that make up my favorite. Thanks. The only problem is that the elephants are very ornery things they can rampage uh if you if you don't take care of them mm. i think i'm gonna live one more turn okay of uh, withdraw from this battle i'm gonna give him one more turn i'm gonna see if okay. i can get a relief force yeah so, at, least, at least at yeah. least close enough yeah yeah to bring, yeah, to bring yeah, something yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um are you in a martial state in america or what well i live in front of a hospital so it's usually like ambulances um or the fire brigade that also is very close by mm. uh, <laughs> they won they won battles thanks to their long pointy sticks <laughs> it's true that's that's basically the hellenistic warfare for you right uh, you got people with pointy sticks, and you got pointy sticks on big boys, uh, and that's all. That's how you win the bo the battles. Yes, you can quote me on that. <laughs> you know, the fun thing about restream is that we have this uh, <laughs> like running header, like like breaking new stuff, like uh, at the bottom of the screen, so I can just like <laughs> keep the most memorable quotes. <laughs> like, oh my in god! There, all right, relief force. You're gonna go to Damascus. Uh, being besieged. Oh, the big by army. Egypt. You gotta, no, you gotta but it's like a three. Seat. No, it's a three stack. Oh boys. Yeah, he's doing that to try to get me. He's basically trying to get around me. Mm. To go. Let me see if I can do the elephant battle. Okay, relief forces there. I forget how reinforcement. They need to be like in the same. Yeah, like reinforcement won't work here, right? Like I'm, I'm not gonna get these. I think they need, they like... need to be like close enough to attack the other army, mm. like the enemy army. I think. Um. Oh, I, I think they have to go around, no? Yes. Yeah. Like so this. I think you need one more turn for that. Yeah. Uh, Agaleus Phoenicius in the chat is saying in uh, 570 CE, a joint Ethiopian Yemeni army was marching on Mecca. Their biggest war elephant named Mahmoud stopped in front of the army and refused to go on in light of this bad omen. The whole army turned back. Yo, you listen to the elephants. When the elephant said, Yeah, no, you say if, no. the if the elephant is telling you that the vibes are off, the vibes, yeah, are, the vibes are, off. are off. It's like, <laughs> yeah. sorry, el 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 elephantomancy. <laughs> it's our new. Like, they're smart as shit. Like, <laughs> give them some. They're credit. smart. They're smart. They know. They know. Uh, um, Captain Neferet. Captain Neferet is 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 a woman because Neferet is a feminine name. So, the beautiful one. So, Captain Sexy, if you wish. Uh, so. 
Should we do this one or should we just do the elephant battle? No? Uh, Elephants, elephants, elephants. Okay. Okay. I will I will withdraw. Yeah, Captain. I I, listen, Nasser has a lot of meanings, uh, and some of them are lewd. So (laughs) so yeah. Um Okay, so let's do the next turn then. No! <laughs> spring. Captain. What is wrong Enough. with you? Enough. What's wrong with you? As I said, if you see all gray, move the elephant. That's also uh, we're, true. We're just going for the elephant battle, so yeah. I'm going to... Yeah. See, see if... Oh, oh, I win already. Okay, okay let's mind. go. See, Captain Sexy, not as good on the battlefield. No, no, apparently not. <laughs> Sorry, Captain Sexy. Oh, wow. Okay. Well... I might oh, lose this God. one, but we'll see the elephants and uh, yes. we can go Captain Nefra, the perfect the opponent for General, <laughs> General Manscaped. Manscaped. Incredible, wow. incredible. I mean, that would be like a, a show to watch. <laughs> Captain Sexy versus General Manscaped. Oh, oh Lord. Uh, yes, I remember a documentary on the famous TV channel with the, <laughs> with the yellow Oh, they're tab. screwed. <laughs> they are screwed. I forgot this isn't a field battle. <laughs> oh no, it's a scene. This a isn't siege. a field battle. They're screwed. Um, I have also uh, seen that video. Real lightsaber fight. <laughs> In honor of Star Wars Day, we are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am uh, cheesing this to all heavens. Let's go. Let's go. If they will betray me. I am I am sorry. You are going to see some cheese. You are going to see the worst of a Total War player. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Uh, just, yeah just if, you have the... The, if you have the failing to use it, goddamn it. Yeah, might as well lock all the all the streets and just and just bottleneck it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have elephants. They're they're gonna be my fire brigade. If if anybody tries to do anything foolish, my oh, yeah. they're, they're just gonna be <laughs> my my weird elephants with just one guy that I. Think they're very small elephants. Aren't those babies? Yeah, they don't seem like Indian elephants, and mm. they're, they're also twitch. Yeah, they're. Uh, <laughs> oh, I guess because of the they're speed. They're listening to techno music. They're just they're waiting for the beat to drop. <laughs> they're like they're raving. Okay. <laughs> they're rave elephants. Uh, <laughs> let's go. Let's go. I actually, I actually do know of an EDM DJ called Elefante, so maybe. <laughs> <listening to> him. <laughs> They okay, have, isn't, they there, have... isn't there something with elephants? And because I've seen enough videos of like, uh, like on social media, of like an elephant vibing out to someone banging the drum, and then the elephant uses its trunk to bang the drum. But I don't know about the musicality of elephants. Yeah, I, don't... I mean, well, I don't in know, antiquity, I don't, I don't know. Um, I know, about... I know that uh, the share went to sing for an elephant at a zoo, and the elephant seemed really taken. But I don't know if he was taken <laughs> because he could suss out that that woman is ninety percent plastic or what. So... No, you, you leave share alone. <laughs> I love this share. This is where we draw the. the, the, the this is the, <laughs> I love share. Are you that kidding? Ele- that elephant She's our was, sovereign. That, that elephant was was one of us. That yeah, was clearly. a gay elephant. <laughs> yes, it was a gay elephant. Of course, of course. Also, yes, not only child soldiers but baby elephants too. It's just, it's just elephant child soldier. Um, our gate was built by That's Italians, fine. probably. It just, it just, you know, <laughs> it opened poorly. I um, love I love this color scheme that they got for Pontus. They really are wow, incre- incredible. <laughs> incredible. I like how they have one gate open, <laughs> but they took their sweet ass <laughs> time to yeah. break just another section they of the wall. To make a they hole in the wall. Two more sections. Why this Three pettiness? More sections. Why this unnecessary pettiness? You know what? They're gay too. <laughs> This is, this is this is like, you know what they or, say about Pontus. You know what they say about Pontus, exactly. Yeah. I mean, probably they're also water signs. So I, I think, guess I think we the, will slander water signs and Pontus on this street. It's, it's wonderful that Pontus and like the the total war kind of culture around total war that Pontus is now a thing that you just say because in total war two they had that FLC the, and they were like, "Ooh, what factions are gonna be?" And it was King Pontus, and everybody thought it would be something like crazy. And it was just <laughs> Pontus. Pontus is neat. I don't think Pontus gets enough credit. They also have a similarly chaotic roster that's super oh. fun. It's like the Salukids. A... Yeah, no, we like. And I mean, Pontus is is a, is a chaos as a concept. <laughs> See, also it's that. like it's just it's just chaos and and poison and and you know and people with flowy curls and all of that. Um, and... Look at that! I love Ooh. that model. They they look a little impractical. Uh, those are well, they're about really to get like fucked that. up because they're about to just go into a wall of, I mean, mm. of pointy of pointy boys. 
<laughs> I mean, good for them. Yeah, they get no they get no honor. This isn't gonna be an honorable fight. They backstab me after oh I gave them God. trade rights and they gave me map. Look at the look at the study side going down and be like, yep, come at me. Come, come at on, me. Dieche. Look at them. Look at that. And they're they're going. They're like, ooh. That meandering walk that they're Oh my god. <laughs> oh boys. Oh my Pontus god. This is known in the medieval bestiary tradition for ducks that are poisonous because they eat the poison in the sea. What? Poison sure. ducks. You know Incredible. what? That that, that <laughs> both surprises me and doesn't surprise me at the exact same it time. It can't be us. Yeah, no. <laughs> now now we're just we're just throwing hands now here. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Good good job, Pontus. Great. Yeah, go go back to your they ducks. Have, they don't have Mithridates yet. And Mithridates is right. yeah, Mithridates is the six. He's kind of like the big deal. Mm. Yeah. He's a couple years down the line. Yeah, some some years. Some, some years. Some, a couple you know. of years, yeah. Yeah. Just sometime. Sometime. I, I was uh, I asked I, I asked Jess, I was like, is it possible to become immune to poison if you drink a little every day? And she looked at me, she was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, okay, why are I'm you asking? asking. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, she's not asking why I'm asking questions anymore because she knows it's, it's something weird. It's either video mm. games or ancient history. Yeah, it's like, it's just, she's not even asking the questions anymore. She's like, what the f Yeah. So, um, anyways... Um, On, this the, is just. This is. Did just, they just send the whole army in one in one this alleyway? This is just a massacre. Incredible! Oh my god, they have. The, was forget. that an ele a dead elephant? Do they have elephants Where? as well? No, they they have... they, 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 no. I have. I know those are elephant. giant horses. Okay, that's good. There's no small elephants. They're giant horses. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> They're just really um. Oh, not, but that uh, color scheme is so. If I ever get back to like I love it. Uh, painting miniatures, because I, I used to be super into Warhammer and stuff. If I ever mm. get back into it, I have to take the Pontic color scheme. Mm. They're great. From Rome to, yeah, no, no, no. It's crazy. Yeah, no, they're great. And the, and the polka dots, incredible. Fantastic. Mm. I mean, just the, just the colors we like. And just the doing? colors we need. What Where's the rest of them? Okay. They're, they're all, they did one frontal assault. In in the, the 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 most narrow of streets that they could. Right, find. I'm sending the elephants in. I know it might be yeah. it might be slightly suicidal, but I'm sending. I mean the no! boys. Oh my god! Look at them <laughs> boys! Look at the boys! It's St. Patrick's parade. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the boys just trampling. <laughs> the, oh my god! The men flying, steam rolling them. The good Let's thing is go. also that they're away from my army, so if they rampage, I don't give a shit. Exactly, they can rampage in there. I mean, the, the, just imagine really? like you're walking in the street and suddenly like this. And so there you elephants. hear elephants. <laughs> yeah, rampaging elephants. Yeah, these these are angry. These are angry elephants. They rampage. Yeah. Look at them. Look at them rampage. Thank yeah. God they have four fucking entrances that they can exit yeah. out of. Also. <laughs> Look at the elephants yelling at them and he's running. Left. Let's they've go. Been, been go, trumpet the boys. The boys. Oh, Look he's like hitting the elephant. Did you see that? <laughs> I never yeah. noticed that animation. He's just like, like yeah. with his fist, like a horse. And, yeah, a like fist? go. I yeah, don't think they fist, would feel a fist. Like a goad. Like, I don't think anything. they would feel a fist on their back. Probably no. not like, how ears. Thick is an elephant's head? Like I don't know. Like yeah, it's they, very thick. Shit. Like their elephants are uh, their their skulls are they uh, crazy. Yeah, they're isn't, like, isn't it the elephant skulls that yeah. people that people? I was go, about oh, to that, say that. That's how the ancients th th thought about yeah. cyclopses and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah because they have, they have a giant hole, like around here, because their eyes are here, and they have the yeah. hole for the trunk. So yeah. Let's go, my yeah. half naked men. I can see that. Oh, the scantily dressed man. We love yes, to see that. I mean, we we mentioned Cher, so we knew this was gonna happen, yeah. right? <laughs> it is, you know. Uh, yes, fuck that part of wall in particular. And also, this is this is like the fashion battalion. So we're like we're fighting bad taste. <laughs> <laughs> With um, elephants. Is there, who's left? The, the, the elephants all cleaned up everything. I'm yeah, they just they just speed. went. Oh, they're trying to outflank me, I guess, which is cute. <laughs> oh, that's you nice. Punch an elephant out of cold, you might be your own siege, siege engine. Yeah, I mean, if you <laughs> if you if you can one punch an you're, elephant, you're, you're you one just... punch man. Yeah, it's a one punch yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. Then at the, that point, once I once the Pokemon stream was over, I just realized I was like, "Fuck!" Uh, because if you remember the sprite for um, mm -hmm. Scipio, what is that? Cowis? What's his what's his actual name? 
the bald no, Scipio. Yeah, the, the, the older one. Yeah, yeah. Exactly Scipio's father. Like the guy from one he does. He does. <laughs> oh, they got skewered. Hey. Look yeah, at that. Heroic, Heroic victory. victory. Look at us. Captain Thirsos, very dynamic. I mean, it said, it said kills, uh, but I read kids, and I was and like, we yes, we use Homer. kids in battle. Um, and we, we end right before Numidia betrays me also, because apparently in this in this game, nothing. Nobody's the, your chaos. friend. Chaos. It is just chaos. And, yeah, no one is your friend, and we should have expected though, that. Even though these polities like, help the Seleucids uh, to varying degrees at varying times. But no, everybody just hates it hates your guts because this is a game of war before anything exactly. else. Really. Of total. Would you yeah. say there's a game of total war? Ooh. One might say that. One might say that. Yeah, um, yeah. And I think that with that and the two and a half hours, yeah, okay. um, you know, timestamp, I think, and share and the fashion police and baby elephants. We saw the elephants. That's all that we got. Yeah. The elephants. And manscaping. Yeah. The yeah. We got that. Uh, no, no, Chiara, they cannot ban me. <laughs> <laughs> They cannot. They cannot. The next next time, I'm gonna set you on fire and explode you in Sea of Thieves. Anyways, no, we we love each other. We're friends. We're friends. Right. Yeah. Only friends say this. Only friends say this, right? You know. Uh... <laughs> Partial War franchise. I like that. Um... Streaming is harder to tag each time. Yeah. Yeah. No. It's... We're, we're uh, exploring multiple avenues for uh, <laughs> streaming. Uh... For, for yeah, for terrible audiences. Things. We're... Yeah. <laughs> You want to speak exactly. to a very broad audience, so each time we introduce a completely new idea. Exactly. But imagine imagine next time when Alex is not going to be here to keep everyone yeah. more, more more calm, but Daniela is oh! going to be here to add fuel to the fire. Oh, um, because he's he's a, he's a he's a Ptolemy apologist. So uh, oh, you know, we'll, we'll have some words. You will have words. I'm just <laughs> I'm just gonna let you guys fight. I'm gonna have popcorn, <laughs> just put the popcorn and just just mute my microphone and you can just you can just go to bed. Um but that being said, so um thank you Eduardo for being here. Yeah, um, thank you so much. No, no, no. And for, for, for teaching for us me. things about the Seleucids and elephants and, and other weird things, mm -hmm. um, which we've not have you know not otherwise learned um in these. Um, thank you, chat. We had a lot of fun. Uh, the chat was like on fire. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's I, I didn't see any of it, so that's great. It was incredible. It was a lot of good stuff. Um, next week, we will have Rome too. Um, there will be two thirds of this team, and then the other third is going to be Italian as well. So it's going to be chaos. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, same time, same place, uh, same absolutely insane commentary. Probably the FBI again. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> See you next Everyone week. Everyone say hi to Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right. So thank you, everyone. Enjoy the all weekend. Right. Yeah. Have a good weekend. Uh, yeah. Everyone. Have a good weekend. Have everyone. a good weekend. Bye. 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 Bye.